I feel so bad for um, Suka. Like, he was, oh, he was like, struggling. Really mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, he got us all dressed up for this ball and then mm-hmm. he vouched and for us. And oh, then I was the life of the fine. party. <laughs> I told you. Can't take me nowhere. I think the apparatus needs to be made a um, legendary item in this game. <laughs> oh, I have, I have plans. I do. <laughs> Are we allocating items yet? I think we're just want, walking in naked in a pale. I want to buy a greasy. fur suit. <laughs> so do I. That looks okay. awesome, right? Yeah, tick seems op. Is it five mm-hmm. uh, good boy points? It's only three. Oh, so we can buy it straight off. Yeah, and then you buy like a something for two. What do you want? Mm-hmm. Oh, honey mussies, you know, mm. <laughs> honey mussy barbecue. Hey, uh, Fire Drake, is your disconnect mm-hmm. nine or ten? I'm at ten. So you I want to test every spell. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to test out the limits of the spells. Yeah, so <laughs> so I wait for four disconnects so I could sort of dip my toes in. I can't wait to unleash Life Storm on somebody. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. It's a level ten one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you can, yeah. What if you roll a twenty, then you just fucking decimate people, like right? Would be dead in two turns, even if you did nothing. Else. <laughs> oh no, three turns. Fifty-five. So it's only got one cast on it. Though. Make it count. Where's the? I missed the items list. I also want to see someone die so they can do the haunting stuff. I kind of, because I'm such low girth, I kind of have a feeling that I'm going to get squished rather quickly. Yeah. I have two so, girth, but I'm hoping my um, aura penalty will keep me alive and my, right? dodge of, my dodge of three. I mean, I don't know if we have to go, like, combat with it. I don't know what Ramtide's plan is. Well, well if make someone like breaks... Neckbeard roleplay simulator. Someone breaks the code, you can challenge them. That's right. right. Don't say anything. Mm-hmm. I think we fight... But we can fight NPCs as well, from what I can tell. Okay, here we go. (coughs) Maybe we should recite the broken uh, the beard code to the audience so they know what's what we're going to be looking for. Mm-hmm. Copy, right. and paste, copy and paste it into the chat. Oh, okay. And it can be referenced. Yeah. But I'll say it with my mouth whole. <laughs> <laughs> for whom does the hat tip? Verily I say it tips for thee. In tipping one's hat, it is a crime most foul for the hat to fall from thine head to the floor. Should his dapper garment be so disgraced, by right of combat with another man, shall he once more prove his honor. So yeah, no hass on the floor. Bread if a man's tender, and thou shalt feed him for a day. Teach him to bread his own tenders, and he shall feast for a lifetime. Deny him his vittles, and you will meet his blade. So yeah, what's that? I guess don't take his food. If we or his food, yeah. it's not good. Or it's your job to teach them how to be self-sufficient. Oh, you mm-hmm. take his team to it's, uh, it's fighting words. Yeah, do not deny him his vittles. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yep. Uh, in service to milady, always for combat must one be prepared. A poorly kept weapon is an invitation to fight. Mm. So Keep you your basically blade have sharp, to buy a weapon? Sharper. I guess. Hmm. I'm going to buy veggie controllers. They're only one good boy point. Thine <laughs> musk is the true fragrance of love. 
Those who seek to hide their scent are liars to the senses and to the heart and should be challenged. It's my night odor. <laughs> you must let your pheromones fly free. <sighs> Wear thine stubble proudly upon thy second chin, for it is thine birthright. Whoever goes without his stubble forsakes this code and shall be met with swift punishment. No shaving. <laughs> I guess. Only one man. <laughs> okay. Mm. Do as thou wilt, shalt be the whole of the sixth law. So, uh, <laughs> whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> well, it's do with two. So I'm imagining poo as thou wilt also. Like, do as in doo doo. Yeah, so, I was hoping it would be D E W do, but you know, mm, copyright. Mm -hmm. So we got to use Mountain Mist and Crunchitos. <laughs> Only one man may hold claim to an anime waifu. Prove your worth, for her heart is fickle, and there may be only one. <laughs> So, yeah, if you got the same waifu, then, then we gotta fight. I call Red Tide. It's going to be hard. I have that entire blood of the race. Oh, here we go. Magnificent gentleman always knows what is best in life. Never forget, my brothers, that thine choice in anime is always superior to others. This law holds true for deck builds, tender recipes, mountain mist brews, and every other conceivable realm of contest. A challenge to thine opinions is a challenge to thine honor. Defend them as thou wouldst a virgin waifu. Wow. Okay. So disagreeing with your fellow beards can be a challenge. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We're going to fight. This oh, code, yeah. It seems like we're going to. Uh, defending the laws of the code is nothing personal. An accusation against thee of a law broken is very much personal. <laughs> so you better be committed when you accuse someone. Oh, it's going to be yeah. damn. I mean, most neckbeards really are bitches and probably won't fight, but these are the highest order of neckbeards. We, we are, want, we yeah, want, we are we dealing want. with the uh, pinnacle of neckbeard evolution in a number of ways. Yeah, only the strong shall coops, mate. <laughs> and the last and final rule. <laughs> orbit milady, as the stars in heaven orbit the sun. <laughs> Let this code be the entirety of the law, the ties that bind this sacred order. Let none forsake these laws, lest they taste the fury of thine blade. Epic. In the name of the Rampire, the Adelaide, Wait. and the Holy Riddicks. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Just felt like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to look for like some some good sploits, you know? Right. I need to carry around some tendies. Hail, what is it? Yeah. Hail, milady, hot and chaste. My groin goes with thee. <laughs> mm. Now, I haven't gone deep into the rules to try power gaming. I just sort of want to play it as it goes. Right. Well, you see, I have average stats. Okay, you be a Nick Beard without yeah. power gaming. No, you should definitely, you should definitely uh, supplement with uh, with the gear. You could be the gear tester. Um, I asked Ramtype before. We can't increase a girth, odor, or disconnect above ten. So right. Mm -hmm. so we'll keep that in mind. Wait, Reddick's going to be a hoarder beard. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Well, my beard is named Belt Beard, so, you know, maybe it's a utility oh. belt, and I got uh, Honey Mussy <laughs> and Rain. <laughs> <all I want. laughs> 
<laughs> I, I may not be an orphan, but I wish I was. Or something like that. <laughs> I like the alternate names. Mm -hmm. Cleave, Cleave Body Spray. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> I'm still unsure though if Cliff body, body Spray is actually masking the odor or if it's just adding to the odor. Well, the way I imagine it is like, you know, it's like those, uh, those air fresheners they have in public restrooms that literally you still smell the, the, the shit, but now it's got like the after... Like the after odor of flowers. It's just floral shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it seems yeah, from the description okay. that it does mask your odor. So don't let the other beards catch you with. Uh... Yeah, I, think, I think it's more of a, I think it's more of a deep Ooh, enough. I'm, I'm going to find it hard to not use soap if I'm going on a date. Okay. Just... That's not a beard. <laughs> That's not beard talk. Yeah, so, okay. So, okay, so if you have cleave, you just can't let anybody see you using it because it's still like if I were to like smell lavender shit on Beltbeard, if I accuse him, it's still it's still a viable challenge, right? I think Tato had it right. I think it's a debuff to like use on somebody else. Mm, you know? Okay. So I spray Tato and then Fire Drake smells it on Tato and he's like, now I have to fight you. You know what I mean? Right. So you're trying to throw a wrench in the plans because I think Got that it. was okay. Rantide's idea with this whole thing is like, sure. you know, Back subterfuge bite. and shit. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm relying on my aura and that'll reduce my aura range by 10. So you want to spray me with that shit too. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to dumb it down. more minds all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Enter a room, get sprayed. <laughs> Or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Can everybody is, hear Ramtide? Or is that Ramtide just now? He's no, he's in the chat, and I see like it sound. He's got some sort of sound going, but I can't hear anything. Oh, it's just green round as a name. Mm -hmm. His mic is just open. <laughs> okay. We're about to get underway. I'm just gonna go grab um, a beer. You guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we can hear you again. I wonder how much shit I've rambled at you that none of you guys have fucking heard. We haven't heard a single word from you for the past. No, no. Three quarters yeah. of an hour. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing well, let me know if I cut out all of a sudden and I go dark. Okay, bro. Just, just, just. Mm -hmm. Out there. Sure. Okay. Right. I'll be back in about one minute before we get started. Well, you have one minute. It is three fifty nine, my beardy Thank brother. You. Man, and that sucks too, because I had a lot of good input, and none of you nerds heard it. Well, you know what? Y'all on your own, man. Ha! Crap. We can God damn it. it. Ah, you guys be all right. I believe in my beard knowledge. Dying. Encyclopedic uh, beard knowledge. There is one uh, question that are we going to be able to start with any equipment or uh, use our five good boy points to buy anything before this, the start? This has, this has been asked. Uh, I'm gonna, going to go with the rule that you guys show up with no pre-bought equipment. You know, you just show up as is, maybe in your day okay. Items that don't give you any buff, you know, you're just wearing your regular ass street clothes. Or right. show up okay. naked if you want. Because I guess Tato wants to show up naked. So uh, uh, okay. Okay. all right. Stained white yeah, I mean, shirt. If you show and... up naked wearing nothing but fingerless gloves, I'm not gonna be mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I encourage this, okay? Okay. All in right. Case, no. In whatever you think will be the cringiest thing. I don't know, man. Bring it out. All right. All right. 
Sounds like a plan. Let me grab. Is some. everybody back? Uh, I, I'm going to assume that that's a yes. Everybody's here. And we're I'm a. Yeah. Yes. All right, we're good. All right, we've got everybody here. Let's begin. Once upon a time, in a not so distant place that's probably far too close to home, the town of Normieville discovered a peculiar castle perched upon the outskirts, looking above it from the cliffs into which it was edificed. Inside this castle, the townsfolk spoke of a lovely waifu, one virgin and pure, sure to entice even the beardiest of beards to seek to become her alpha mate. This day, four suitors arrive at the castle one by one to introduce themselves to the lovely Milady Waifu, colloquially known to the rest of the world as Becky. You guys arrive as a party and knock on the door, which is really just ringing the doorbell to this particularly nice McMansion in the suburbs. Her mom opens it and with a disgusted look says, Ugh, Becky, your friends are here. She's like, cool, show them into the living room. You tap your hat, tip your hats magnanimously to the mother and proceed into the throne room wherein Milady sits. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves one by one? Hi, tell us a little bit about your beard. Hello, my lady. I am Douchebeard. I, I go to the gym a lot. I, I think I can make you really happy because I'm alpha. Let's look at my size. I'm really huge compared to these guys. I, I'm the best the one here. Really donuts. <laughs> go on. <clears throat> With a bow in the tip of his hat, he backs off a bit. Very good. Fire Dreary, tell us a little bit about your beard. Uh is this is this thing on? Is it on? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So a man. A man among men is standing before you, milady. One whose powers far exceed those of uh, my fellow beards here. I, uh, I, uh, am, uh, a level 90 EverQuest 2 player, as well as one of the premier Reddit critics on the, uh, the Reddit, I think. Yes, and uh, he uh, is in a white crew neck undershirt that is stained and crusted and a uh, set of um, Star Wars underoos, also similarly crusted. Um, and uh, he's riding a Segway, but he's making a little bit every time he moves. She giggles and teehees at you, calling you a beloved Tismo before beckoning for you to take a seat in the living room. <laughs> Dato Ferret, please introduce your beard to these magnanimous masses. Hello, my lady. You may call me Nightwolf, master of the tabletop. Blessed, by, blessed by the God Emperor's holy life. Hmm. <laughs> I can uh, smell your pheromones from here, Mr. Nightwolf. I raise my arms to really get the full waft. <laughs> they waft thoroughly throughout the rooms, eliciting a gag from everybody, waifu included. <laughs> she motions for you to take a seat. Last but not least, Red X, please, why don't you introduce your beard to our listeners? A rather average-looking man stands in the living room before Milady, dressed in a what looks like a child's Batman Halloween costume, complete with utility belt. His name is Beltbeard, but he only steps forward, 
tips his Batman mask to my lady and says, no, I'm Batman, before stepping back in line. <laughs> Wonderful. You're all just so amazing. I can't even decide who I would have to ravish me. Tee hee. <laughs> Oh, this, is so ridiculous. this is so bad. <laughs> it's only oh. gonna get worse. <laughs> she surveys the line of suitors standing before her, pensively weighing her options. How could she possibly decide whom to take as a mate from this lineup of alpha males that stand before her? Whether it be the plumber of crime, Beltbeard, or the shape-shifting alpha Nightwolf. Surely she is torn. And so she thinks long and hard to herself about how she'll determine who will be her mate. When she raises the finger for attention and quiet and declares, I know how we'll solve this. We'll have a quest. I'll tell you what, Chad and Brad are down hanging out at the ballpark and Chad hasn't returned any of my text messages. So I want you boys to go down there and I want you to beat up Chad. I don't care about Brad, but if he gets in the way, you can beat him up too. And you know what? If you make him cry, if you make him cry, send me pictures and that's bonus good boy points, okay? So, you guys go down to the ballpark, you find Chad, and you beat him up. And you tell him to return my text messages. Thy will be done, m'lady. <laughs> Question to a quest. She tees in a woos at you, and then returns to her TV screen, watching whatever the hell it was, leaving you free home about her castle. All right, now, boys, I guess we should get moving, huh? I think uh, Fire Drake's lost audio. Did Fire Drake lose audio? Fire Drake is still ticking. What's happening? Fire Drake, no! How's it going, Fire Drake? Do you, do you make words? No. Fire Drake. Fire Drake? What are you doing, man? One last call. Take our spellcaster. Taking on Chad is no easy business, bro. You you need some backup for this one. Oh, that's true. We should go like buy shit. Yeah. <laughs> you guys um, have been left to your own devices to roam about her house. So is this phase one of the castle? We are in the castle phase. Do okay. we get to pick where we go, or do you want us to roll for it? Within the room castle, there are 20 rooms. I will allow you to pick one at your own discretion, or roll. Whatever you guys want. I I'll okay. go to the workshop, because Hello? the real men use tools. Hey. Drake's back. Yes! Okay. Hey, I heard a fire, Drake. All right! I'm here. Welcome back. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. So, um, we have been tasked with going to the park to slay the evil Chad who has not been returning my lady's text messages. And if we make him cry and send her pictures, then we get extra good boy points. But first, we need to scour the castle and find equipment for the battle to come. Okay. Uh, well, I knew all this already, but thank you very much for recapping. It's very important. That's a big I'm the leader. Right there. <laughs> hey, I'm, the half, so I'm the leader. Uh, I'm the leader. No. Clyde, no. You, you proceed into the castle and you <laughs> find yourself in a workshop area. Inside this workshop, you can see numerous tools scattered across several workbenches, the remnants of old projects in half completion, scattered all across these tables. Uh, why don't you roll me a 20 and tell me what you get. Oh. 
I uh, oh, what was I rolled again? Uh, second. <laughs> he can't even roll a d20. Eight, How do you eight, expect eight, to win my lady's hand if you can't eight. even roll RPG dice, Hyde? It's an eight. I roll an eight. It's an eight. You were searching through the 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 uh, the workshop here, looking for anything that might be useful in your quest to slay Chad. When you find an old pair of gloves sitting on one of the workbenches that are strangely devoid of fingers, you receive fingerless gloves. Oh, wearing fingerless gloves. I I put on the fingerless gloves. Let's go to our next beard. Uh, Dayton, you will be our next beard. Uh, would you like to pick a room at random and roll for it, or would you like to select one from the list? I have rolled a sixteen. And what room is that? Let me let me let me find. Servants I was looking quarters. for servants' quarters. Ah, the servants' quarters. Every good waifu you see, every good milady doesn't do her own chores. She just hires some fucking random people to do it for her. You walk into what is basically a shed where the gardener's hanging out right now. And he just kind of looks at you as you walk in. He's like, what the fuck are you what are, what are you doing here? It's not really a servants' quarters. It's more like a shed and he's got some tools in there. Uh, you man. begin to loop the room looking for something useful. Why don't you roll me a 20 and tell me what you get? All right, uh, let's see here. I should probably just keep this copy pasted. It's going to happen a lot. Roll faster, <laughs> loser. 15. 15. You dig through the ruins of the servant, through, the, uh, through a couple of objects in the servant's quarters, looking for anything that may help you on your quest. Despite the protests, of the gardener the whole time you're rifling through his shit you find a pair of goggles and place them upon your head goggles nice batman needs to be protected you receive some goggles cool uh tato jerry would you like to roll at random to find a room or would a you real, like to uh a real dm like sorry a real What's dm that? boys trust the real DM always trusts the heart of the dice. Well, let me hear your roll. Where are you going? Nine, which is... Ooh, the parapets. Ah, uh, yes, the parapets. As you walk along, up along the parapets, which is really just kind of a sidewalk alongside the cul-de-sac here in this high mountain fortress. A stiff wind picks up, threatening to blow your hat from its head. Oh, no. Thankfully, however, you manage to grab hold of it and keep it in place as you search Ugh. the parapet for that whatever item might help you. Tell me, roll a d20, what do you get? Four. Four. Tossed aside in the grass half eaten, soggy and damp, you find one tendy. Ooh, the god emperor has blessed me on this day. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it safely in my back pocket. You put a stale, soggy tendy in your back pocket. Yeah? Where else do you put them? <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's a healing Fire life. It's, it's, it's your turn. <laughs> would you like uh, to see where you go? I I would, but the uh, the dice bot doesn't seem to be working for me. So I'm going to just pick the library because that's the most reasonable place. Oh, the dice bot! It's exclamation R, and then your dice. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's different to our one. Uh, 15 15 what room is that laundry also the servants quarters isn't it i rolled 15 oh ah so you proceed around the back of the house to a shack wherein you find the gardener yelling very loudly at Beltbeard 
to stop plundering through his stuff. You ignore the rising commotion, walking right past Beltbeard, and begin digging through the same crate in which he was searching. Why don't you roll a 20? He got caught. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a two. You got a two? Uh-huh. You'll find a box of tissues. Just one. Who needs to shower when you can just wipe it away? I am well acquainted with the lovely powers of the tissue. Hide. Coming around again to your turn. You are in the workshop and you just found some lovely gloves. Would you like to stay in the workshop and continue to loot it? Or would you like to head somewhere else? I think I got the best things in here already. So I, I just head on. Okay, why don't you roll me a 20 and see where you go next? Or pick free, a location. Free, free. I got free. Okay, what room is that? The uh, dungeon. Ooh. Nice. Maybe Ooh, I can get a whip in here. <laughs> <laughs> you proceed Let, down. Ladies, like when I used to whip on them. In my you head, proceed at least. down the stairwell from around the the back the side of the house into what's basically a basement, and then tucked away in the back of it, you see, you know what kind of looks like a little a little dungeon set up. There's some fuzzy cuffs hanging from a loose ceiling beam, you know, and a, and a particularly dirty and stained mattress with a tarp on it over in the corner. As you're sitting in the dungeon, you begin to feel this strange compulsion coming over you and say, man, I could, I could totally fucking live here. This is really comfy. Oh, However, I... you manage to resist such inclinations and search the dungeon instead. Why don't you roll me a 20 and let's see what you get. 13. I got a 13. Uh, I got a 13. 13? Yep. Down here in the dungeon, you discover a skull ring laying on the floor. Oh, oh no. Nice. For the edgy boys. Nice! That is sick, bro. <laughs> Belt beard. You, you, are, you are in the, uh, the shed still. You know, the servants' quarters, if you will. And... The gardener is now raising up a huge ruckus at both you and uh, Fire Jerry as you both rifle through his belongings without hey care guys. or concern for his protests. Kick his ass. Would you like to keep searching this room or would you like to head somewhere else? Uh, it's yeah. It's pretty crowded in here. Batman loves solitude, so I think it's time for me to move on. Well, Where would you uh, like to head to next? Don't Let's uh, see what the dice say. Do, do, do. It's a two. That's the kitchen. Yes, you trust proceed it. into the kitchen. And inside the kitchen, you see long rows of fruits and vegetables and other useless crap. <laughs> and you make your way to the freezer and you open it up. Roll me a 20. Oh, there's so much in this freezer. Uh, what shall I take? It is uh, <laughs> nine. Oh, and you open up the freezer. You find that for some reason somebody has uh, stuffed it full of Coom Ranch Crunchitos. Oh. You grab one bag of Coom Ranch Crunchitos. Delicious. Potato Jerry, excuse me. What is it? <laughs> Night Alpha. What is your Night weird Wolf. name? Night, Night Wolf. Wolf. Night Wolf. Oh, last I checked, you uh, you went down to the dungeon, didn't you? The basement. The parapets. The parapets. Ah, so after a harrowing experience, whereupon your fedora was almost blown from your head. You, I, I ask you, do you keep searching this area for more items, or do you look elsewhere? I, I will let the dice decide. 
The dice have decreed the throne room. You proceed Six. back into the, the living room of the house, wherein Milady is still playing video games, and she looks at you and she says, Aren't you supposed to be beating up Chad right now? Um, a true warrior must always come prepared. I'm merely arming myself for the coming battle. She disregards you and goes back to her stupid TV show. Uh, why don't you roll a 20 to search the room? Five. You find discarded in the pair of corners. It, excuse me, discarded in the corners. A pair of cargo flage shorts. You can never so, have enough pockets. So many pockets. I can put all my Dollars. tendies in there. You got to transfer don't. your soggy tendy. <laughs> my in the end, don my new armor. Ah, uh, Fire Jerry. What's the name of your beard again? My name is Theodacrinox. <laughs> the Anacronox. Uh, would you like? To, would you like to continue searching the uh, the servants' quarters while this uh, random gardener is yelling at you that he's going to kick your ass, or would? Would you like to head somewhere else? No, well, the, the, the fucking bat dude left. I'm going to go somewhere else cooler, too. <laughs> well, why don't you roll me a 20? 17! 17, my friend. Oh, Let me check. Mom's room. What is that? Is that mom's room? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, Excelsior! <laughs> you proceed through the house. On your little uh, hovering hoverboard thing that you think makes you hover <laughs> when you get to a flight of stairs that doesn't actually let you hover up them. So you pick it up and climb the stairs <laughs> and proceed into mom's room. It smells really good in here. And as you begin rifling through her belongings, you hear a voice from behind you. Uh, what are you doing? You turn around to see Milady's mother there before you. Oh, my, oh, it, this is, oh, hi, ladies, mom. I was just wondering, there was such a wonderful scent coming out of this room as I walked past. So I had to investigate. Uh, however, uh, <laughs> it, 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 if, 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 if it is, it is not okay, I shall endeavor to take my, uh, my journey in another direction. Roll, roll your smooth. social check for me, bro. Roll what? Roll me a social check. That's a d20, right? That's a d20 and add your social modifier. Got it. Uh, 20. Uh, plus 5 is 22. Milady's mom closes the door behind her as she walks in. And walks towards you, she's like, oh no, it's okay. You can search here all you like, sweetheart. You do not find anything this turn. However, you find yourself now involved in a furious makeout session with a desperate and lonely and much ignored Milady's mom. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> well, shit. So jealous. Um, I win. Bye. Regretfully, <laughs> 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 Milady's mom isn't going to kumsumate with you, but I'll tell uh, you what, she'll at least make out with you because daddy's ignoring her. <laughs> Milady's mom has got it going on. She's. <laughs> she's milf-tastic. Oh, <laughs> uh, hide. Yeah. Uh, what's your big name again? I'm Douchebeard. Douchebeard. Yeah. You have uh, just finished looting the dungeon and recovered a skull ring. Where would you like to proceed? Would you like to keep searching the dungeon or head elsewhere? Well, it was stairs down there, and stairs are hard. So uh, I keep searching. <laughs> roll me another 20. <laughs> eight. I roll an eight. <laughs> You find some goth pants discarded in the corner. You now look like a socially inept MC hammer. <laughs> nice. I equip with the goth pants. 
goth mm. pants and skull ring, you should get like an outfit bonus. Yeah, right? uh, like a set uh, bonus. Maybe I'll you, include you know one. the most fun yeah. thing about this? Uh, I don't have a fedora or trilby. My hat I wear is a Make America Great Again, you know, ball cap. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> MAGA! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. mm. Belt Beard. Yes. It is your turn. You have just searched through the kitchen and have found an item. Do you continue to search the kitchen or do you proceed elsewhere? Then the dice will tell me where I go. It's a 14. That's, uh, I see, the janitor's closet again. I'm really fucking with the help. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it over to the janitor's closet, which is really just, uh, you know, full of cleaning chemicals. Lots and lots of cleaning chemicals. None of it interests you very much because well let's face it you have no interest in becoming clean however not. inside you recover a box of tissues and one can of cleave body spray oh my Ooh. 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 uh night wolf is that it is that the right one that's me. <laughs> Nightwolf, it is your turn. As always, my fate rests with the dice. Eight! <laughs> <laughs> what room is that? Eight. Eight is the courtyard. Uh, okay. So I'm just flicking uh, through. You, you proceed out into the courtyard again. Basically right outside in the front yard. Where you had come from before, when the wind picks up once more. And this time, your reflexes fail, and your hat is blown from your head. Oh. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Where is everyone? You're in the janitor's closet. You're in mom's room on the second story, and one's in the basement. Uh, belt beard and anachronox. Why don't you roll me a d20? Okay. And you roll me a d20, Tato Jerry. Nine. Four. Eleven. <laughs> I spend one of my euphoria points to re-roll my dice. Ooh. Yes. Alex. Euphoria. Can't 19. Whoa. Whoa. In this moment, I am truly euphoric. <laughs> <laughs> euphoria. <laughs> intensifies. <laughs> You're too lost in a hot and lusty makeout session with my lady's mom to notice the fumbling nerd grasping at his blown away fedora. Uh, belt beard. You know, you're too busy digging through the janitor's closet to notice the running form of a night wolf outside chasing his hat that has been blown from his head. <laughs> God, I hope they didn't see that. <laughs> now, Anachronox. Or wait, no, let's finish up. Uh, let's finish up night wolf's turn here. Roll me a 20 and tell me what happens. 13. Unlucky 13. 13. As you finally seize your hat and place it back atop your head, you look down into the dirt. Oh. Hey, dude, you cut off. You dropped out. Yep. Did I drop out? Can you hear me? No, you can we can hear you now. You. What do I spy? Oh, thank God someone can hear me. As, <laughs> as you, uh, you seat your hat back on, naturally out of breath from your run you look down at the grounds and you see that there's a stack of trading cards in the dirt oh sweet Ooh. spell casting the conglomeration these are sick 
Spellcasting. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Um, awesome. <laughs> Nightwolf. Nightwolf, I award you a good boy point. <laughs> oh, oh, sweet. I am a good boy. Oh, I am a good boy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. <laughs> I stowed the, the cards safely in one of my mini pockets. You have the perfect pants for him. Yes. Anachronox. Mama finally finishes up with a hot and lusty roleplay session out of you. Winks at you and says, don't tell dad. And then walks out of the room, leaving you alone in her bedchambers. What do you do? Do you search her room or do you proceed somewhere else? Uh, hell yeah, I need some sort of memento for this occasion. <laughs> yeah, I'm searching. Roll me a 20. You got it. Bloody! I will grant you a relic of yore. I grant <sighs> you mom's panties. Yes! Oh! oh. Wait, you oh. may take mom's oh. panties and you may give them to any other character and they will lose their turn. However, upon receiving mom's panties, they have it as an inventory item and can give it to someone else. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Excellent. This is a so find we... among finds. I have the power. I have the panties. <laughs> I, I, I just got to ask, is it like granny panties or like the more seductive kind? Or... Roll me a d20, Anachronox. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let it oh, be a G string at 17. Ooh. Odds are granny panties. <laughs> <laughs> they still have that lovely aroma, though. It, 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 it was around smelling them, so it don't matter. <laughs> exactly. I put them upon my head like a holy helmet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You now wear mom's panties what? upon your head. Uh, uh, let's give your mom's panties a good boy points va retail value of 10. Ooh! God, it might be worth it just to sell them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, thank you to the Beardic Lords. I've won. <laughs> okay, anyway. <clears throat> Hello? Hello. Hello. I think we've Keep lost Ram Tide again. Yeah. 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 <sighs> and it was going so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you I'm give me uh, the price on mom's panties? I do about three fifty. <laughs> <laughs> and the Loch Ness monster showed up and he asked me for three fifty. <laughs> Now, boys. Now, yep. Yeah, I got you, boy. Awesome. Yeah, we're, we hear you. With the castle sufficiently looted by those dashing suitors, now prepared to undertake their glorious quest to make Chad cry, they take their leave of Milady's house and proceed down the street towards the public park wherein he hangs. Never mind! That concerned parents called the police on you here before. That doesn't matter because Milady told you. To <laughs> along the way, you are stopped by a curious man pushing along a hot dog cart. But rather than hot dogs, you see that strange garments and exotic wares are draped all along the racks. Would you care to make a purchase? He says as you pass by. Ooh, nice. What do you got? Well, why don't you crack open the the uh, the inventory and see what you would like? He uh, is packing just oh, about wolf, everything wolf. in the beard. I, I I like wolves. The the shirt looks nice. I want the shirt. Oh, it's too big for me. It requires a wolf shirt. So I kind of quit. Wolf shirt. Wolf shirt. Wolf shirt. 
Give me the wolf, yes. There can only be one alpha wolf in this pack. Yeah, mm. that's me. Uh-oh. I bare my teeth and growl. Uh, I flex my biceps. You can't see it because of the fat, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fairly big boned. I back off for now. Oh, I like how you did the first suit. So I got a roll. I'm going to say buy, something. I'm going to buy a first suit. You're not lighting up. Yeah. Right yes. <laughs> I'm going to see what first suit I get while Ram is dead. Did you did you drop out again or something? Ram tied, answer me. He wouldn't ghost ghost us like that. And I, I got a four. You. We can't it's hear you possum. anymore. Awesome. Oh, the possum. I got a possum fursuit. Ooh, that one's actually pretty good. I don't see the fursuit in my in my inventory though. Like in the uh, page nine. It's in the, okay. Oh, there we go. It's, Thank uh, you. Yeah, near the bottom Thank you. there. All right, got it. Uh channel the furry fury of furries. Okay. Um, How about that? Now I can hear you again. Hey, he's back. Hey, there we go. All right, who else would like to buy what? I bought a oh. person fursuit. Did you catch that? I did. Okay. We oh, had wait. a uh, wolf, a howling wolf shirt, a possum fursuit. Anybody else? I'll purchase the arm sleeves, which increase my odor to one, and I now have max odor. Oh Good. my god. Three good boy points. Yep. So I am going to sell my uh, mom's panties for 10 good boy points. Very good. You get 10 GBP. Perfect. And I'm going to pick up the scopeless sniper. Oh, Whoa. Sick. Whoa. And Someone you buy a scopeless sniper <laughs> rifle. Get him with that no scope, bro. Oh man, that yeah. does chad damage. Dude. Yeah, I do chad damage as well. <laughs> it's a lot of damage. You, you fuckers are in trouble. <laughs> you mean I mean, chad, right? Yes, of course I mean chad. Why? I, did I say that out loud? Oh my god. <laughs> We're totally friends and stuff. No, we're totally best for best friends. Best we, friends. We're one strong wolf pack with me as its alpha. Excuse me. Yeah. The, wait. What? I was pretty <laughs> sure. No, I'm the alpha here. Oh, you the alpha. Never go to no, you, no. This is not how this works. I am the alpha. You are my beta male pack. No, I'm the alpha. I'm the one who sends you butt pics from the gym, from all the girls in the squat tracks. Guys, this is what Chad wants. <laughs> he is <already. laughs> You're right. Oh, that evil bastard! He's getting into our heads. It's true. I guess we could all be alphas, like a pack of alphas. Is it about a wolfocracy? Oh, that dude, that is so cool. Yes, awesome. yes, absolutely. Yes, Lupine Nation, absolutely. <laughs> I let out a mighty hell. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds more like a throaty Google. Oh, uh, right. Are we done buying? Are we. You guys see Have you concluded anywhere? your purchases, Alpha Wolves? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Great. Great, good. The merchant tips his hat at you and proceeds along his merry way, selling ice cream and fingerless gloves to all the children that he comes across. <laughs> <laughs> Spreading beer to read. <laughs> Hi, I'm you on the registry. Would you like to buy city park? <laughs> the, the dreaded city park. While your restraining orders are still in. <laughs> Dude, you cut out. Okay. Lost you again, man. How about now? Good. Yeah. 
Restraining orders. What about yeah. them? You make your way down to the city park, and though your restraining orders are still in effect, you think that not even the long arm of Johnny Law will stop you from winning Milady's heart. Besides, as long as the police don't come, you guys are probably good, right? Yeah. Maybe. Looks yeah. like no spell shall bind us. As you walk your way along through the through the desolate city park, you see over by the baseball bleachers two familiar people, chiseled like a stony Adonis, standing oh. before you. Mm. It's George, so angular. By the they end. have not noticed you yet. <laughs> uh, I try to swag her up to them. Pointing because... with my scaldering finger at them, going like, Hey, bitch, why don't you message her back? A real wolf pack would flank, but you can go Yo, for he's it. He's being the distraction. I, I think we're okay. supposed to flank. Well, I'm alpha. I'm alpha. I'm going Ooh. first. Let's flank um, him, man. As we, uh, as we approach within 30 feet, I would like to uh, declare the area a sanctuary. What? <laughs> now I gotta look up the spell. It's the spell. You declare the area around you to be a spanctuary. The spanctuary extends 30 feet in all directions from the caster. The caster and all, all, all allies within spanctuary are healed for 1d4 plus disconnect mod HP at the beginning of their turn. They receive a plus 2 bonus to dodge and plus 5 to movement speed. I just buffed you all. Nice. <laughs> That's Sweet. pretty powerful. Bow down and respect me. I mean, this is for you, my brothers. How how do you declare it? Do you just like walk towards him, yelling "Spanctuary"? No, I no, I go. Okay, wait, time out, time out, everybody. Okay, from here to here and here, that's Spanctuary. I called it. No take backsies. Is this Spanctuary? Chad and Brad look up from what they're doing and they see you nerds approaching arguing about the confines of Spanctuary and how to <laughs> properly flank as a wolf pack. What the <laughs> fuck are you losers doing? I'm going to beat your ass. Like I told me to. That's Who right. told you to kick my ass? This day. You're the only thing standing between us and consummation. You're gonna die. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fighting words. <laughs> Do you as guys I look, as I rack around in my sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Where'd you get that gun, dude? There's no need to use that. <laughs> Tell him to Brad, cry. Don't no worry, bro. I got himself. one of my own, and he pulls out a scope sniper, rocking around in it. Oh shit, guys! Leave uh, I, I pull out my uh, this. I draw a full hand from my deck of cards. Ah, <laughs> oh, spellcasting the conglomerate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Left have to write uh, that down. That is great. No, it's when, that is when great. I howl and start to charge. Why don't you guys roll for your turn orders and then we'll Perfect. go from there? D20? D20. That is a D20. 19. One. What's your name? Thirteen. Did we lose him again? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Damn it! This is like watching <laughs> the like watching stolen. <laughs> Softcore porn on Cinemax. <laughs> <laughs> you would know which. Like, oh, it's it's coming to focus, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, just for reference, we know all spells already um, up to our disconnect modifier, don't we? You have access to all spells up to your disconnect limit. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, I could <laughs> sanctuary myself. You could, but. Uh, awesome. Yeah, boy, beat you to it. <laughs> well, good. Now I got more spell points or something. <laughs> yeah, whatever. How many times can you cast? 
Um, twice, I believe. Yep. Does it stick? Hey, okay, I'm back. Hi, Ramtide. <clears throat> uh, Douchebeard, what was your role? Uh, five. Mm. Um, Anachronox, what was your role? Thirteen. Uh, Nightwolf, what was your role? Nineteen. Beltbeard, what was your role? One. What? <laughs> One second. Let me make a note here. All right, lads. Combat begins. You have come here to the city park today to make Chad cry. Tato, Nightwolf, you begin combat as the most alpha of the alpha wolves here. <gasps> Suck Tell it, bitch. Me. No! <laughs> it's your None turn. None of us heard that. <laughs> um, how, how far away are the are Chad and Brad? I'll say Chad and Brad are about 30 feet from you right now. Mm hmm. I can do a major, a move, and a minor, can't I? You've got a plus yes, five sir. to movement speed. Just okay. so you, just be aware. Going, okay. You also get move. an extra minor from your cargo shorts. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to move within 30 feet of them and cast Toxic Cloud. Ooh. Toxic Cloud. Why don't you read the effects of that for the uh, for the audience? You summon a toxic cloud to follow you around. The cloud extends from the caster 20 feet in all directions. Enemies who begin their turns in the cloud suffer weak damage, 1d6 plus disconnect modifier. The cloud lingers for a number of turns equal to your disconnect statistic. All right, all right. Oh, God. So how, do I, how do we cast His, uh, that's a potent brand, man. Wow. I've, I've raised my arms, unleash my pits. <laughs> a miasma. <laughs> do, you, do you do anything else with your turn? Perhaps a pre-fight monologue or nothing else? My stench does the, does the speaking for me. <laughs> Very good. I, master I've been a roll. So I better roll the 1d6. 1. So they take 1 damage plus my disconnect modifier, which is negative 1. That sucks. <laughs> it one just damage. smells really bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going oh, I'm I'm to use, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, re-roll with you a point of euphoria. They're also in your aura, aren't they? So how much yeah. damage do they take from your aura? I have an aura of 50. What's what's your 50. odor mod? Uh, how do I figure oh, that out again? Shit, they're going to be overlapped with aura. <laughs> I have an odor of 10, so the mod is plus 5. Very good. And, I'm, and I rolled a 6 on the dice, the 1d6 to the cloud, so... One d six plus. Already suffering these these <laughs> beta males before you. They gasp desperately for oxygen, which you are so so readily denying them. Taste the blessings of Papa Nurgle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, we have the Anachronox. It is your turn. All right. I lift my weapon, shining in the sunlight, which I hate, but it shines in the sunlight. And I point it at him and I say, go ahead, make my day. <laughs> <laughs> and fire around at Chad. That is such an awful pre-combat monologue that I'm going <laughs> to inflict a minus one to hit. <laughs> <laughs> We were going for awful. Okay, I'll make it better next time. All right. 1d20. <laughs> <laughs> 
So five minus one, four. You fail to break, catch Chad unaware, and he deftly dodges to one side, something like a kid out of the Matrix as the bullet ripples through the air behind him. And he says, ha! You think you can defeat me? Oh, I've got more bullets, bitch. Your aim sucks, dude. Yeah, you well, it's your turn. The sun was in my eyes. You try. <laughs> Anything else from your turn, Mr. Anachronox? The gun uh, is only a recent weapon without a long history like the blade. I would not sully my hands. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I've had it. And I, I'm going to I'm going to dump all of you that 40 point and uh, I'm going to dump a euphoria point and uh, take another shot. Take a re-roll. You're spending a euphoria? I am. Feeling mighty Those euphoria today. When you your honor. Weak. 18. 17 with the minus one. Well, that's better. Your bullet grazes Chad, splaying open part of his arm. Why don't you roll me 1d20 in Chad's damage? Oh, six shot, dude. I take back everything I said. That's right. Bow down and worship me. Three damage. <laughs> How much? Three. Like he said, it winged him. Mm -hmm. Next, next it did time, wing him. It did wing him. <laughs> Chad still laughs and says, <laughs> I take it back that you may not defeat me, but it will take forever for you to defeat me. Yeah, well, actually, it was a 30 odd 6 round, so you'll be feeling it next turn, too. <laughs> All right. Speaking Wait, of the next turn, <laughs> let's go into uh, Doofbeard. It is your turn. Yeah. And I need to do the Power Gamer boring question. Are I closer than other ones? Because I was walking towards them all the time. I'm going to say you're like 15 feet away from both of them. Chad oh, and crap. Brad. Yeah, yeah I, I take up them. Uh, I start running towards them. And uh, hey. stop my feet in front of them because I can't make it that far. And I use my free action to breathe heavily. And, you know, try to <laughs> get my breath. You walk right up to them, but you can't quite get all the way there. And you <laughs> get <laughs> heavily menacing them. Yeah. Uh, did you remember the plus five feet from Dodge or for the movement? Did you remember oh, yeah, that? Yeah, you got a plus five because of the sanctuary. Yes. Oh. Then I, then I can actually reach them, and I I still can't hit them. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just making it up to them and like go like. <laughs> <laughs> you get right up in their faces and begin to breathe heavily. Yeah. Like Did putting you? up a hand. Like one second. <sighs> Give me a minute, guys. I need I need my breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Did you forget your inhaler, dude? <laughs> I, I, I left my mobility scooter at home. I thought my lady would like me more when I was walking. <laughs> Very good. When you finally do attack next round, if it hits, I'll give you a plus one on damage. Nice. <laughs> okay. That concludes Douchebeard's turn. Belt beard, it is your turn. All right, I'm gonna pin him down for you there, fire. I mean, uh, an acrobax. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna use a uh, jismatic spray. Ooh, with bonus, with bonus from the sanctuary. Doesn't it? Yes, yes, it does. Rub it out, bro. <laughs> oh, All right, God. everybody. Stand back. I, wait, okay. Uh, guys, get out of the splash zone. So I guess we're I guess we're rooting for him to come now? Okay. All right. Come, come, come. come, come, come. <laughs> I mean it's not a real coom, it's just <laughs> really Yes, waste your energy on them. 
<laughs> I'm saving oh, mine no. from the lady. My T levels. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, I only rolled a six though, so. It was a 1d6, but it was a 1d6, dude. You rolled six. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. It you roll automatically your hits? Is that what I'm understanding? No, no. You got to roll an attack. It's a uh, roll attack. Oh, your disconnect okay. Mod. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. So I got a, a six. All my stats are average. So. <sighs> no disconnect but... mod. No, no. What's bonus? your kismatic spray shoots forth from your hands and your nether regions, striking <laughs> Brad in the face, but missing Chad completely. Why don't you roll damage on your jismatic spray? Oh, and it's it, it's double. Yes, Fife. That's a ten. <laughs> wow. I coom with the force of a thousand suns. <laughs> <laughs> like a shotgun blast. Is <laughs> that oh. <laughs> more damage than a rifle? Nailing him with a blazer strike. Like there was a small sonic boom, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We lost Ram again, Ram Tide. I think he's just Ramming. sitting in sun stunned silence, isn't he? <laughs> would be. I would be. Is that, what have yeah. I created? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Did you hear my riveting narration of Brad getting the jismatic spray? Yes. Yes. And that sounds like a shotgun. Yeah. Shotgun like, blast. Shotgun <laughs> blast. <laughs> All across his face. <laughs> anyway. Damn you and your alliteration. <laughs> and Chad has decided he's had enough of your shenanigans. Chad closes the gap up to you, douchebeard. And he goes to beat you down with these hands. Roll oh, me a shit. 20 and add your dodge modifier. Plus right. five. Plus five. Or plus two, plus two bonus to dodge. Oh, oh crap. Yeah, uh, I got a two, plus two, minus one. So, three. <laughs> Regretfully, you are not, you are not swift enough on your feet to, de to dodge Chad's mighty fists. He strikes oh. you, dealing ugh, 18 points of damage. Yeah, Chad Strong. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> Rad <laughs> racks around in his sniper rifle, evaluating the situation and how he's going to best back up his buddy before he decides that he's going to take a shot at you and Akronok. Roll me a d20. All right. Does he have a negative modifier because I hit him in the eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's 13 plus 2 is 15. The bullet sails through the air, missing you in its entirety. You're fortunate for now. Yeah, you think you got Neo powers? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, top of a new round, and we begin with Nightwolf. Oh, um, those guys, did they take... The five cloud damage and five from my aura at the start of their turns? They do, don't they? they? Take, they're both taking 10 damage from my stank. Nice. So th this turn, I uh, draw my hand of cards, uh, pull out a trap card, believe in the heart of the cards, I don't know, I, haven't watched, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, I know, fling, fling a card at them. <laughs> Fling a card at them. Why don't you uh, oh. roll and see if it's a mythic legendary one? Oh, was you that have a 10% chance to be a mythic rare. So what do you want me to roll for that? Roll a uh, roll a percentile. Or you can roll a 10. You can roll a 10 sided die and if it's one, yeah, you, you're throwing a mythic rare, dealing double damage. Oh, four. Not today. It's just a regular spell casting the conglomerate card. 
But it does one D10 damage. <laughs> that it does. Ten. Who's this going at? Chad or Brad? Chad. He's our target. Chad. I reveal my trap card. <laughs> Do you say that? Yes. <laughs> you should oh. say that. It sounds awesome. <laughs> in fact, honestly, combat's on hold right now. Just kind of encouraging you to say that. Even Chad's like, bro, you should, you should say that, man. <laughs> <laughs> so does he take 10 damage? Roll your attack. Yeah, I got 10 for the 1d10. Oh, it's that's the damage. Card, the, the attack. Regrettably sails right past Chad and oh, clatters shit. harmlessly against oh. the bleachers. Um, oops. <laughs> you didn't believe in the heart of the cards, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use my movement to move back so I'm 40 feet away from him but he still remains within my aura of stink which is 50 very good you you step back a little bit just a little bit yeah do you conclude your turn there and I end my turn right uh, next up we have the Anachronox uh, okay I am let's see Okay, nope. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna prove everybody wrong, and I rack another round and fire. You shoot another round from your scopeless sniper rifle. I'm hoping you did a 360 degree rotation before <laughs> shooting. Trick shot. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. <laughs> roll, <Trick shot>. your, <laughs> roll your attack. And who is this going at? Chad or Brad? This is going at the Chad. The Chad Chad. And uh, 18. Eight, 18 to hit. You hit. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Five damage. You shoot Chad, ever so slightly grazing him once more. God damn it, would you just fucking hold still a minute? God. That was a sick 360, though. Very good. <laughs> yeah, and I still got him. Yeah, you're all like, pew, pew, and he was all like, ah, you got me. And then he was like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, <laughs> next, next up is uh, after fire. We have uh, done. Uh, fuck, douchebeard. It is, it is your turn. Last turn. You spent the whole round waddling up to Chad, preparing to box him, but ran out of breath right as you got to him. Uh, and then he hit me. And, and then this... he hit you. This, 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 this is for all the doom shit you did to me in the school showers. And I tried to headbutt him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> what? It's for all the dumb shit he did in the school showers. Oh! <laughs> 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 that's a, that's that's a beautiful pre-combat monologue. Take plus five to hit. So ten plus five is fifteen. <laughs> you strike Chad, all right, and then you have a plus one damage from last turn for something. Uh, and now then, I got a skull ring and a howling wolf shirt. Does that mean I get two extra levels? My damage. Yeah. Ice. Then I can do uh, Chad damage. Or the... You're dealing oh, Chad damage? Roll a d20, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, so... <laughs> Law a one. But I do free damage. <laughs> I've only... I've only... I, what, you're not going to spend a euphoria on that, bro? 
Could yeah, totally I'm spending, spend I'm spending it for you on that one. They've only so heard about this level of beard rage in Legends. Eight plus two. <laughs> He's that beginning because to believe. Of extra damage and the fingerless gloves. So, and damage. Uh, are you still here, Ramtite? You wind up your punch and declare in a fit of rage. This is for all the towel strikes and the school showers. And bludgeon Chad across the, sta the face, tearing his lip open with your skull ring. That nice. sounds weirdly specific. <laughs> Sick ninja well, move. You know what? Oh. It is. <laughs> 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 and last but not least, uh, no, we have Belt. I have, a, I have to, a question about the other two actions. Can yeah, I sure. use my movement to grab onto him? Uh, I'm afraid not. I, I I haven't written anything in as far as grappling goes. But if grappling uh, were to be involved, it would probably be used as like an attack action. Who mm -hmm. made you? Can I get it? Any other questions? Oh, yes, that. Yeah, where did you learn those sick ninja moves? Oh, uh, I, I I watched a lot of Naruto. Hi, uh. Uh, Hyde, what's your character's name? Bushbeard. Uh, did you take damage when Chad hit you? Yeah. Then you sh uh, you get to roll because, like, this is only, what, round three? Um, you get 1d4 plus 5 hit points back from the Spanctuary. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, you you're healing HP from the Spanctuary, bro. Don't forget okay. that. 1d4 plus 5. Uh, so, 3 plus 5, that's 8. Thanks. Nice. I only took 10 damage. Uh, yeah, Not bad. Exactly. Give me one second, guys. I gotta put another log on the fire. It's getting chilly. <laughs> no! Is that a euphemism? I'm going to pour myself some tequila. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Red. Uh, made it... Uh, back. So I'm I'm stuck again. I don't know where to go on Metroid Dread yet, but uh, <laughs> um, made it to the Beluria, or whatever the water level, and then uh, I got the the super speed. Oh shit! And you're ahead of me still. <laughs> I mean, you'll catch up. <laughs> Yeah, eventually, once you complete the game, I'll be like, okay, <laughs> now I can play. No, no. Uh, just been been doing shit all night, podcast, oh. making videos, and once once the work week starts, then that's my moment to shine. I'm gonna be like, right, right. Check yeah, get out. No, and it's every other week I got the kids, so that's uh, yeah, you're gonna surpass me far as soon as I get the kids back. I'm just biding my time. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I work seven days a week, but it's like, I don't know, I'm at home. You, you, you read yeah. Pete stories, that's not work. Oh! Yes. <laughs> I mean, Yikes. I, I, I um, do uh, push myself to do the podcast. It's like, the actual reading isn't the work. The editing part is the work. That's why I paid somebody to do that part. But then... There's also like you know social media presence and podcasts and oh, dude, yeah. with folks and D and D and W and W. <laughs> it and... takes uh, a few spoons for me to get out and uh, you know, yeah, man, social and shit like that. And me being social two days in a row—that's like unheard of. I'm impressed. Honestly, so usually I would do D and D, and then I would be like, "Okay, that's it for me. I can't, I can't <laughs> tomorrow." But this is Ramtite's pet project. Like, what am I supposed yeah. to do? Right. I mean, you could good for him. Go him. for the channel. That's a toy bug. Yeah, it's a toy bug. All right, where do we leave off? Who did we leave off on? I think uh, I was high. <laughs> Douchebeard's turn, and then who's next? That's me. 
It gets back to Chad. No, I Chad. want to take a turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get to take a turn. <laughs> no, it's your turn. Happened. It's your turn. Um, Go home. Okay, let's try... Uh... There's so many spells. Oh, uh, yes. They are amazing. I'm going to try... Oh, wait. First thing I say, uh, hey, Chad, are you hungry for justice? <laughs> and I pull out my cool ranch crunchitos and consume them. <laughs> the crunching of corn chips ominously fills the battlefield. So is that a minor action? <clears throat> yeah. Using an item is, yeah. Okay. And then I will catch him in my cone of mold. Oh. Cone of mold. Cast it. <laughs> Brad and Chad are side by side. So you will. So this has both. a chance to freeze either or both, right? Yeah. It's a 14. You strike both of them. Why don't you roll damage for me? Oh, sick. Uh, 1d8. So do I need to roll 2d8 for both of them? Nah, just roll the one. We'll use it as both. Okay. That's a three. Did you add your disconnect modifier? I don't have one. It's zero. I did average across the board. Well, never mind then. But the real goal here, here. is to freeze them, you see. And then let me look up freezing real fast, real quick. I The cone of mold, uh, if, at least from what he's got on the rules for the spell, it doesn't, it doesn't say that it, it slows him down or freezes him. Uh, Ray of Thickness does. No, that's why I consume the Cool Ranch Crunchy oh. Boobs. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Sorry. I got you, fam. Thank you, you brother. Don't, you don't need to worry about me. You know, I, I'm not like super cool power gamer. I'm just like average <laughs> guy over here. Taking those buffs. Very right? good. You fire a cone of mold from your damp nether regions onto the enemy, and they gag and retch and suffer injury. Wonderful. No freeze. Oh yeah. They're frozen until the next round, partly because they're vomiting so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I've done my work. Now's your Chad. chance. Chad stuck in place from the horrific smells that prevent him from walking further. Desperately tries to swing at Douchebeard in front of him. Roll me a D twenty, Douchebeard. Uh, has he taken the 10 damage from my stank? God, yeah, that's right. Oh, nice. 19. 48. So, 18. The dodge. Plus two from the spanctuary, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love that so, spanctuary. Tw <laughs> so, 20. <laughs> 20. All right. So, he goes to swing at you and he misses entirely. Brad. <laughs> you couldn't see the board wall. Choking back the disgusting bile that prevents him from accurately aiming. Goes to fire at you, an acronaut. Hey, get out of there. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. So are they, like, standing one in front of the other? As, They're as pretty I'm... much side by side. They're side by side. Okay. All right. So let's see. I am gonna. No. 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 Okay. I yeah. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and take another shot with my Chad level gun. But but um. God, if you would just hold still, this would be so much faster. You want to take more pain? And I fire. 
Well, they are held still by the cone of mold with the Cool Ranch Crunchitos. So, why don't you or, throw me an attack? Or by the fear I just instilled in them, yes. Yes, that too. <laughs> and by the stink cloud enveloping them. No, it's Aldi. It's Aldi. All right. Uh, nine to hit. That hits. Perfect. Seventeen damage. Uh, there you go. You uh, unload your rifle at Chad, blasting away a significant chunk of body meat. Oh. But it doesn't kill him. Because Ugh. it's Chad. Body meat. <laughs> body meat. <laughs> uh. And so concludes your turn, Anacron. Yes, absolutely. Not going anywhere. Did we skip someone? Nightwolf, yeah, did I did think... you take your turn? No, I haven't. Well, take your turn, because I skipped you like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm an asshole. But... Yes, bathe in the scent. I draw, I draw another card and throw it at Chad. Why don't you scroll to see if it's a mythic rare first? <laughs> uh, the, a D ten. Yeah, six. If you, a six. No, I am afraid it is not a mythic rare today. Roll me your damage. Ten. And this is going at Chad. Oh, no, it damage is one D ten, isn't it? Yeah. For the cards. Yeah. So. Oh, gotta drop and my this dice. Is going at Chad. Yep. All right. And it's a seven. Your card strikes Chad in the face, strangely dealing him a very deep paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> Is the card yeah, sticking out? Bleed, in face? Blood for the blood god. <laughs> Douchebeard, it is your turn. Uh, you, are, you are squared up in front of Chad. He's starting to look a little fucking tired, dude. Apparently, getting shot. And like having shit thrown at him, and just breathing in the stink of somebody is—it's—it's—it <laughs> it's, hurts. He's having a rough time. And I beat Brad with Chad. You're gonna beat Brad now? Oh, I, I'm asking. Can I use Chad to beat Brad? You no, know, lift up Chad and. <laughs> you Brad. know what? Why improvised you weapon? Got, <laughs> you've got Max. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> Did you drop out again? Roll me a 20. Oh, do that. Uh, seven. I will use Ephoria. <laughs> do it. Oh, 13. <laughs> you seize Chad by his head and let out a... Uh, I don't know. Let me let me hear your best beardy war cry, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh beautiful. <laughs> Goodbye, ears. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> Repeat phone music. Sorry about that. For anyone using headphones, <laughs> that was probably one of the best. Oh, we um, lost fire, Drake. Oh no, he, he died. He's, he's being skipped by the re. typing <laughs> where did he go fire drake anachronox all right well either way you pick up chad with a mighty re war cry and go to uh go to strike brad with chad why don't you roll me a d12 Uh, three. Oh, five. So now uh, four, if my damage is correct. So I can reroll that, I think. But another four you spent, but uh, well spent, I think. <laughs> I hope. Okay. In this what moment, I he is truly you. So eight. 
yeah, I, I rerolled my damage with the Euphoria as well. So oh. I do 9 damage. Dayton was gone as well. I yelled at my kid, get no. out of there, and then... Um... Fire Drake's um, oh. banished. <gasps> uh, I mean, Ekronox. Ramtide, can... Here, yeah, can I was just making notes of your damage. Yeah, I'm doing 9 damage because of the Skull Ring as well. There's fire damage. There's uh, Jerry. Okay, fire Jerry. Fire damage, Jerry. You lift up Chad and swing him like a rag doll at the helpless form of Brad, inflicting significant damage on each of them. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yes. Yep. It just my power went out. <laughs> I had to switch over to my phone. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oop. Yeah. So I'm sitting in the dark playing a neckbeard simulator. <laughs> Yay! All right. Living the dream. Yay! <laughs> Wee! <clears throat> so, yeah. All right. And then, God last damn but it. not least, a belt beard. Belt beard, it is your turn. Oh, belt beard. Uh, who's still alive? I missed, like, everything. They're, they're both still alive. Okay, good. Chad is near death. Brad is starting to get bloody. Make okay, Chad, right. um, Chad is down. All right, Chad. <laughs> we have a Chad down. Chad down. Is my cool ranch um, over? It's only one turn, right? They, they, yeah, they can't move. They haven't moved. Uh, next turn, if they want to move, they will be able to move. But the the cool ranch effect is off of me now. Yeah. Okay. Then I will cast Mimetic Blast. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Roll your attack and take a plus one for your wonderful poem. I'll get him to recite the incantations. Pepe did nothing wrong. Fifteen. <laughs> 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 you hit. <laughs> yeah, you hit. <laughs> oh, damn it, don't I? Uh, that was awesome, dude. <laughs> it was like <laughs> me, which I was there when it was written. It's a six. It did. Don't quote the deep magics. <laughs> you fire your mimetic blast. Screeching at the top of your lungs like a fucking beached whale out of water. <laughs> Pepe did nothing wrong. Dad <laughs> <laughs> covers his ears and slinks to his knees and begins to cry. Yeah! Somebody get Dad the fucking been phone! Defeated. What a little oh, bitch! Oh, oh. I, I scooter forward and, uh, yeah, I scooter forward and wipe the tears into a, uh, into a tissue. <laughs> Save them for later, huh? <laughs> hey guys, guys, gather around. That's right. I try to get everyone to gather around for a selfie of, so we can prove oh, that we yeah. made them cry. Perfect. Brad, still in the oh, fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brad's still in the fight. <laughs> Brad's still alive. And he starts his ah. turn. After taking some damage from Makes a residual ten, ten, ten stink aura, <laughs> some residual stink, it won't and he I'll be his rifle and takes a shot at who got the killing blow. That was red. That was uh, that was Beltbeard. He takes a rifle shot at Beltbeard. Why don't oh, you roll me a twenty, bro. Beltbeard? Dude, say what? What? Roll me a d twenty, Beltbeard. Oh uh, yeah, I can Sorry. do that. It's uh nine. <laughs> <laughs> you feel a bullet collide with you, only to shred your shoulder a little bit, dealing five points of damage. <sighs> and then it's the top of a new round, beginning with Nightwolf. Is this round three or four? I think this four. is about round four at this point. So my stink cloud only lasts four rounds, so we'll keep that in mind. Okay, so it dissipates next turn. Yep. Okay. I draw another card from my deck and throw it at the surviving bread. All right. Why don't you roll a roll to see if it's a mythic rare? 
Five. It is not a mythic rare. So, where am I? Damage. I think Ramta no. dropped out again. Yeah. Oh, I'm here. Oh, oh. So, so he's the, breathing heavily. So the so the one D twenty to hit now. One D twenty. Eleven. To hit. Regretfully, your card misses the the rabid Brad and uh, just clunks uselessly against the bleachers. Right. The heart of the card fucking sucks. <laughs> well, maybe she's well, should something else besides spell casting. I'm just, um, I'd back away, I'll use my movement to back away, but keep him within my aura. So I'm going to be 40 feet away from him. Very good. You back up a little bit, but still keep him in the realm of your stink. Um, next up, we have the Anachronox. All right, so, uh, let's see, Brad. Brad is still standing? Yeah. All right. Kids crying like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy's going to be so happy. I bet she'll blow me here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she will blow all of us. Well, nice. Uh, all right. I want to see a boob. <laughs> Focus, guys. Focus. All right. It's it's the Anachronox. Uh, it is. Yes. And um. All right. So I rack another round, and I say, "Oh, poor Chad. He's crying. Brad, you're gonna join him? Are you gonna join him in your little cry fest, you little baby?" And shoot him again. All right. <laughs> Roll your attack. Yes. Sir. Which would be great if I didn't have to sh <laughs> like switch between a hundred. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You're doing uh, great, buddy. I'm proud <laughs> of you. I mean, I'm now I'm working on phone and I have sausage fingers, so it's uh, yeah, typos aplenty. All right, there sausage we go. Phone. Sausage fingers. All right, nineteen to hit. That connects. Why don't you roll me some damage? Would love to. For 12! 12. 12 damage. Ooh. Nice. Sick shot. Yeah, from behind the head, too. <laughs> it Hello? Get out. D douche oh. beard. Oh. Yeah. It is your turn. <clears throat> okay. Brad, Brad is still Brad. standing. I guess. Yes, Brad is still standing. Okay, I, I'm going to try to run those kicking. And I got it, think I got hard shins, but I'm still going to try. <laughs> you wind up for a roundhouse kick that barely manages to get above your waist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> three, <Yeah>. I miss <laughs> completely. <laughs> you rolled a three, fine, yeah, that misses, bro. You miss <laughs> bad completely, and then you stop I, there, huffing. I, I, I start to huff. That, that's one of my free action. I use my <laughs> other free action to spit at Shad, who's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, and then we get to Beltbeard. The only one foe left is Brad. Oh, baby. A little bit. All right. Well, uh, let me s consult my book of spells here. I just had a little... <laughs> <laughs> you hold your hand up while you look through a notebook in the middle of the battle. Time out. Time out. I need to find what I'm going to do. Well, I kind of want to. Let's try a level one spell. Ooh, I'm going to cast Tragic Missile. <laughs> what Life tragic is missile? So are you unfair. 
What are you firing for your tragic missiles? Uh, my old tears, like that really cool game, Binding of Isaac. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. You start to cry and flick <laughs> them at Brad. <laughs> uh, so three, one D four. Yeah, roll me your attack first. Uh, uh, yeah, I could do that. It's a seventeen. Yeah, that'll hit. Roll me a three D four. Five. <laughs> you strike, two, Brad. Two, a one. You you fling your tears at Brad. And he just kind of looks at you in confusion, trying to figure out what the fuck you're doing. Before leveling a sniper rifle at you and taking a shot at you. Roll me a 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 13. Well, he misses entirely. The ah. top of a new turn, Night Wolf. <laughs> um, with the casting limits, is that for the whole game or per round of combat? For the whole game. Oh. That's why I've been spreading it out, you see. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm sick of the these cards. They're not really doing much. So I'll use my movement to get rid of them 25 feet and cast Tragic Missile by throwing a pocket full of dice at him. Very good. Why don't you roll your attack? Ah, uh, shit. So, sorry, D20? Yes. Nine. That'll hit. Roll me some damage. Three 1D4s. A one. A four... And a two. That's seven for those keeping count. <laughs> seven. Ha, ha, ha. Eat plastic, you little bitch. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Eat plastic. <laughs> we'll have to remember that for later. Anachronox, it is your turn. Brad is still on his feet, but he is going oh! fast. I hope he steps on a D4. <laughs> oh, no, not Ooh, that. That's gold. <laughs> Anachronox. Yes. Your turn. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear yes. me? Yes. Okay. All right. So. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. All right. I put another road in the chamber. And I look at it. And I say, Cry havoc and let loose the dogs of war. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> yeah, we're it's the alpha pack. Yeah. <laughs> Get him. All right. If I can just quote Shakespeare, it works every time. <laughs> Wait, uh, that's not an anime. <laughs> your alpha pack is with you. Take plus three to your attack. Woo! Yes. All right. Well, <laughs> total is seven. <laughs> uh, your bullet flies wide and misses Brad completely. Curse uh, you, RNG gods! <laughs> Curse you! Douchebeard, it is your turn. Let me show you how a real attack looks. I learned this from the root. <laughs> <laughs> I this from the root. Oh, <laughs> God. Hey, <laughs> pardon my Japanese. I'm, I'm right, kind of bad at it. But I'm going with Fatia <laughs> Apurkatu. What? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but okay. He's right? Like gods. Nani? <laughs> 16 hits. <laughs> what is it? 16? Yeah. And, all right, yeah, that hits. Roll me some damage, bro. Uh, seven. Seven. You, uh, 
<laughs> I, I don't even know what the fuck you're doing, but whatever you do, it manages to fucking knock Brad unconscious. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> next to chad a weeping pile of tears yes dude are you like a real <laughs> ninja <laughs> uh, i reach i i've been working out <laughs> <laughs> i reach over with the same tissue that i collected chad chad's tears and add brad's to it <laughs> you now have a a, a tear soaked tissue. I do. <laughs> soaked with the tears I, I of Chad. Got a, I got an idea. What we should do now? Uh, and then uh, I time. Pull, I, yeah, <laughs> just well as this, and then I take it, Chad and Brad and post them next to each other, and you know, slide each other's hands down the front of each other's pants. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's like, yeah, yeah, we know we don't call you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes Brad. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's the primo blackmail. I mean, wow. Yeah. I'm, a, yeah. I'm, I, I'm not impressed, but I, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I could have come up with something better, but this will do. Yeah. I mean, I was just yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly. I could have said it better myself, but that works too. So you guys are gonna take some uh some blackmailing photos of uh Brad and Chad before you guys get out of here? Yeah, yeah, yeah of, of course. course. <laughs> That's why we came. Very right. good. Very good. <laughs> you guys uh you know, make Brad and Chad spoon each other and slide their hands down each other's heads. <laughs> and snap some photographs. Uh, <laughs> and they're weeping, right? They're crying. <laughs> yeah. <And bleeding>. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. I call this one sleeping menstrual. <laughs> it's slightly <laughs> bloody, but maybe they were really right? rough stuff, you know. With like gunshot wounds. This is this is a crime scene <laughs> photo, is what this is. <laughs> the covered in jizz. <laughs> yeah. Jizz and blood and they're missing chunks out of their body. Oh, man, so here, in <laughs> covered in mold and oh, Coom Ranch God. Dorito dust and <laughs> all things possible <laughs> for the Coom summation. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is very Never lost in war. A fitting tribute to the lady, yes. <laughs> for my lady. All right. oh. You guys get your crime scene photos. <laughs> <laughs> and begin, your way, yeah. begin your way back from the park towards So guys, this is castle. like we just discharged a bunch of firearms. I'm sure the cops are coming. <laughs> so maybe we should go. <laughs> maybe we can leave these facts for them. <laughs> then I, I can't, I can't go back away. to Tubi. <laughs> and they just make haste. <laughs> right. You guys make haste from the park. And on the way back, as you're almost to Milady's castle, you once more wander encounter the wandering merchant. He opens oh. his to you. You are free to buy and sell as you please from the uh the beard's armory if you are so inclined. Do we have any more good boy points than we had before? Or is it the same? Oh yeah, yeah. For finishing that encounter, good boy points will be awarded as follows. Ah. Douchebeard. For inflicting damage upon Brad and successfully knocking him out, you receive 12 good boy points. Yeah. Anachronox. Regrettably, you did not perform so well. You received two <laughs> good boy points. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, we get to Night Wolf, whose powerful stink carried the day. You receive eight good boy points. Suck it, losers. And then we get to Beltbeard, who delivered the knockout blow to Chad, who receives 11 good boy points. Uh, so yeah. it, it's Tail. not about how much damage one did. It's about who gets the final blow, right? 
uh, how much damage one did and who got the final blow was how those were distributed. Okay. All right. Well, I'm so happy that I healed you fuckers. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you also you did, did get it. those undies for a boost way earlier. I did, I did too. I did. Yeah. You're right. So there is. I that. just figured. It, I just figured it would be very neckbeardy of me to complain about it. So, as it is, and please stop <laughs> complaining about it. In fact, I would appreciate it if you called me a shit GM and said you never play a game with me again. <laughs> oh, oh, rage quit. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Fuck you guys. I fucking hate this game. I fucking hate all of you. <laughs> and it's your fault that my power went out. Yeah. Beautiful. Your fault my parents got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's your fault I have a micro penis. Wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, you too? <laughs> Wait, you <All> too? Right. <laughs> Can I want to do some purchasing? <laughs> Yeah, go for it. I'd like to purchase two tendies, uh, honey mussy, barbecue, and ranch sauce. Very good. Five. So for seven good boy points. Mm. Uh, anyone else? Um, yeah, 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 I'm looking at the consumables. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you guys know. Items are bought and sold for the amount of good boy points that they cost. So, you know, make make any inventory changes and appropriate good boy point expenditures that you need to make. And then I figure we'll take a quick fiver and okay. get into session three or phase three. Oh, uh, I'm going to phase. Uh, or uh, I want to sell my Howling Wolf shirt yeah. uh, and buy a flame shirt instead because that one's sweaty now. Is Ramtide still here? Sometimes. Okay. Now, do you guys know, we're obviously wearing a fedora for law purposes, but it's not the item fedora, is it? What now? Not at liberty to say. <laughs> I mean, we're obviously all wearing a fedora, but not the fedora equipment item. Oh, that's true. No, yeah, it's not. It's not a weaponized uh, fedora. It would just be for flavor, if that's what you're wearing. Well, I'm going to buy a real You'd fedora. Have to... Yeah, there you go. If if I buy the <coughs> flame shirt and the platform boots, do I get a set bonus for having the scaldering, the golf pants, the platform boots, and the flame shirt? He said he wasn't going to let us take a set bonus oh. this time, but he would take a look at the mechanics. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I am going to take the flames as well. And so I'm literally <laughs> putting a, uh, a custom skin on my uh, sniper rifle. <clears throat> flames. Man, it's it's going to do so much more damage. It's going to be awesome. I try to sneak <laughs> around to the back of the store to uh, buy a special item that I don't want others to see that I buy. It, it, it's the relic, you know. So up. Vax is You know. I, I think I might need it soon. Did you get what I bought to run tight? I think he's taking his break. I'm going to go. Yeah. I'll be big. Fair. Me too. Oh, we didn't well, need to ask if any um, relics of yours spawned in the shop. Yeah. No, no we need to. Yeah. Oh, man, I miss, I miss the alt-tab feature. I can't switch between screens. <laughs> That's annoying. It is. I, I was doing great with my computer setup and whatnot, and my power is still off. It sucks. <laughs> oh, I need to buy those as well.
Okay, I think I'm going to get two tendies and a uh, two tendies and the flames. Um, I think I'm going to get uh, the flames as well, as well as a pair of goggles and maybe some sew up. Got it. If it's available. Perfect. Yeah, he said if, if there's a low chance that they do have an ROI, a relic of your. It's a common so relic of your, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, hopefully. That'd be fucking awesome. You guys had some dope quotes, by the way. <laughs> that might. war cry was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. It did take a toll off my throat, though. I've been <laughs> coughing ever since <laughs> when I tried to do the beard voice after. <laughs> right. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> and I really need something to drink now. It's like 3 a.m. here. And I oh, for sure. Scream. So I think my neighbors aren't all that happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Do you have any questions or anything? Uh, um, yeah, fine. I'm... Oh, go ahead, Hyde. You had you had a question about the ROI, right? Uh, the ROI? Oh, yeah. Is that uh, relics of your is the SOAPE uh, available? It looks like one did in fact spawn. Let me roll a dice here to determine which one we get. It seems that the Crossroads Git Fiddle has spawned. Ooh. For sale. He's... Oh, by the way, I feel like some, some beardy points should have been distributed during that combat, but I totally forgot. Well, there should have been some that have been distributed throughout the whole game. I've been forgetting. My bad. Yeah, what, it's all good. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's... we're supposed to take away and add beard points, right? Yeah, depending how you act in the game. But I feel Ooh, like I've all lost of you have two. just been going as maximum <laughs> gear as, as possible. Right? So I'm just going to yeah. say everybody add one to their beard. Oh. Then I'm going to buy that get fiddle and uh, attendees, and that's it. All right. Yeah. I'm going so with planes with two attendees, please. Since so I can't buy the soap, done, I'm buying a trilby. When you guys are done making your purchases from the merchant, uh, please let me know what your um, ending good boy points are. I am at zero good boy points. Okay, so fire zero. Belt beard is at zero. I think I'm at nine. Okay. Tadaima. Come back. And I add the flames to my sniper rifle like a custom skin on okay. pod. Why not a howling wolf skin though? <laughs> uh, because I like I like the fire. I like the flame. That's I want to burn epic. people. Yeah. He's going through the fire in the flames. Oh yes! I know that song. Does it carry on? Dragon Force. Like you're I, you're singing to my scaly heart right now, there, brother. <laughs> I do a sick e guitar solo. Potato, <laughs> hey, have you finished uh, spending your uh, good boy points? Yep. Uh, how many do you have left? Two good boy points. Two good boy points. All right. But my pockets are loaded up with tendies and uh, dipping sauces. <laughs> I'm proud of you guys. Yeah. I return to Milady's castle and knock on the door. 
Her mom opens it once more with a look of disgust on her face, except for you and Akronox. And if I <laughs> yeah. <can> uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, I... Hey, baby. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Take a beard. <laughs> I, yes! I, I tip my genuine fedora that I just purchased. It's quite dapper. <laughs> <laughs> Milady. Mom lets you guys in with a look of disgust on her face. And you proceed into the throne room where Milady sits disinterested upon the couch. We're she back. Arm. She looks at you and says, Well? Show her the picture. We, we have succeeded. Hey, look, you guys I made chat cry. I show her that I show her the soaked uh, tissue with uh, the collected tears of Chad's. Oh my God! Why is that wet? What did you do to that thing? I collected the tears of your enemies, my lady. Oh. Trophies of our victory. Yes, oh. this is proof. We made well, I guess I owe you boys totally now. Gay now. <laughs> yeah, so is. Yeah. He's a fag now. He's all like, totally, where, where totally gay. Like totally. But that's where? okay. He is gay now. <laughs> I mean, there's God. nothing wrong with that, my lady. But, uh, uh, no. That's probably why he doesn't <laughs> respond to my text messages. Uh, I guess that means I have to look for a new boyfriend. Mm, well. Right? Well, what has two thumbs? I possibly decide among you boys. Like, come on. What has... You, you uh, look like the alpha male. nothing to decide about. You know, it's me. Who's she pointing at? Points at Douchebeard, Hyde. Uh, it says, you look like the alpha male of the group. I'm going to take you out on a date. Wait, but don't... Uh, uh. I'd be <laughs> like, sure, sure, sure. I... And then I do the typical girl uh, date thing and open the door for her. And All I right. says, let's go. I got a pocket full of good boy points. I feel like I feel like we should hear us. Uh, OK, sorry. Oh, go on. Go ahead. I was going to say, I feel like at this point, the rest of us give the bam, bam, bam look at uh, <laughs> Douchebeard. And I feel, I do feel my beardic ire rising now at this point. So As do I, but I actually have a, a recourse for this. I'm going to play my git fiddle and give a, oh. a negative three to all rolls on his date. <laughs> Good luck, douchebag. <laughs> Take a beard for that fucking remark. Fuck I give you beard for that shitty remark. <laughs> I nice give you, Batman. uh, I give you a sweat-soaked, clammy high five, Bellbeard. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> I slap him on the back and say, "We really do live in a society." <laughs> uh, all right, so the date begins, and first up, we have Douchebeard and Milady, and Milady has opted, Mister Hyde. To take you, or you've opted to take her to a restaurant. Obviously, someplace oh, lowbrow oh. that serves some chicken tendies and everything's deep fried and it stinks like grease. Mm. But the Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Chick-fil-A. Round one of the date begins. You arrive at her house to take her out. Orbiters, you're obviously following behind him the whole time. You don't like yeah. that he's taking the lady out. So you're watching, you're stalking this. Like hiding uh, in bushes and... <laughs> yes, sir. So, Douchebeard, you you arrive at Milady's house to uh, pick her up. Round one. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I go up and uh, I pick some flowers out of their garden to make a bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and, and then... Uh, I spit in my head and put my uh, hair back so it covers the bald spot. <laughs> and then I knock on the door. Very good. You knock on the door and my lady answers to see you holding a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> and for a second, she takes a look. 
and ponders. Wait, where did those come from? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Important. Roll me a 20. <laughs> okay. Roll me a 20. And my social is zero, by the way. Okay, well, what did you get on your 20? Ten. Hello? <laughs> Hello. I got that 10. ten. Oh, ten? Okay, and then roll me a d10 and tell me what you get. Uh... Nine. A nine. Is that below your beard? Uh, I think my beard is... Uh, my girth is nine. So what is my your beard? beard? It should be five I'm if it sure. changed. Yeah, then it's five. Well, keep rolling until you roll beneath your beard. Uh, Actually, no, never mind. You're, you're, if your beard's only five, you're below her leg beard index. She takes a look at you, and she sees the flowers in your hand. And she scoffs, and she's like, oh my fucking god. I just fucking planted those. And you <laughs> rip them up into a fucking bouquet. What the fuck is wrong with you? I can't believe I'm doing this. Let's just go to the chicken tender place. What a loser. <laughs> and I go and hold the car door for her. <laughs> Round one passes with no good boy points lost. She approaches the vehicle, and you go to hold the car door for her. Why don't you roll me your girth? Because clearly this is an impressive display of your strength, guiding the lady into a seat uh, with the door open. And there's a bit one hidden as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to re-roll that. I rolled a one. So... <laughs> Uh oh. Uh, I'm re rolling. <laughs> Spending 14. a euphoria. Uh, 14 plus my earth modifier, then I guess. Uh, so 18. Milady is flattered by the impressive display of your strength. You know, only a true alpha male could hold a door open for her when she goes to sit in a car. <laughs> uh, she she teehees and a woos at you, and it seems for a moment as if. The ripped up flowers from her lawn are a forgotten thing. Gain two good boy points. Oh, I see. You jump into the car and drive her off to the chicken tendy restaurant, arriving <coughs> at the establishment. Orbiters, you're following, but you haven't done anything yet. I'm, you know, you so he's in the car, time. right? He's, he's in the car, right? Yeah. Can I Quick cast Divine Flavor on him? Sure. Yeah, cast yeah. divine flavor on him. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. And uh, so his odor becomes 10. <laughs> oh, no. Seriously? <laughs> As you're driving along in the car, you notice that somebody's tailing you, and you get really, really sweaty. It's fierce sweat. It's a stinky kind of sweat. It's the worst sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Your odor becomes 10. Uh, why don't you roll me, um, a tw roll me a d20, tell me what you get. Minus Five. three. Uh -huh. seven. Are you playing that get fiddle right now, bro? Uh, no. Oh yeah, Six. I've been playing it the whole time. I I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're just in the background singing really shitty love songs. I can't stop, right? I'm a man possessed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there was this guy. He went down the road. <laughs> he smelled really bad. He looked really old. So, what did you get on your uh, on your tw twenty roll on the date? Uh, when you're in the car. Six because of the. <laughs> she gags for a minute and says, uh, "What's that smell?" Uh, uh, I, I, I think that uh, uh, nerd guy, you know, a something, uh, <laughs> left a fish in the car. Oh, well, fortunately for you, you're not in the car too long, and you pull out, 
at the chicken tender restaurant. She gets out of the car. You get out of the car. Round three. You're walking up to the establishment of the tendy place. I, I try to offer her my elbow. You offer her your elbow? Yeah. Well, as you raise your arm, a little bit of your, your stink comes out, so you kind of chicken wing it instead, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you keep it... You try to keep it low. Try to keep your, uh, your stink <coughs> hidden away. So, you guys, we gotta do something. He's, he's being too suave. <laughs> Are you guys gonna interrupt? <laughs> You have you can interrupt, you know. How? I, I I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Are there mechanics for this for interrupting? Or? You can throw a fucking rock at him, dude. You know. Oh, you know, right. You know, you can start shouting obscenities. You could walk on by and <laughs> shove him to the ground with your fat gut. There, there are options. Bro. <laughs> You're not okay. helpless here. Right. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. I'm just an average man with a fiddle. I keep playing my fiddle. <laughs> <clears throat> I start singing along to his uh, awful fiddling music. Oh, uh, you're uh, going to assist every... his, his awful, awful yes. guitar music playing. Yes, I'll put in um, okay. lewd references to um, my dating colleague's lack of anime knowledge or... <laughs> <Whatever. laughs> well, let me hear some of these references, bro. Oh, I don't even know anime. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, bro. You only like the full you metal the alchemist remakes. You're a <laughs> yeah. human. Yeah. Dude, that's not cool, man. Oh. Not knowing anime. Minus one beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But I'm a tabletop beard. <laughs> 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 All right, so you start singing along with the awful love songs that uh, uh one of our one of our fine suitors is singing. You uh, suck. Roll me a, roll, both of you guys roll me a twenty and compare the results. Let me know who's higher. I got a twelve. I got a three. You managed to add your voice to the loud chorus of derisive, mocking songs, increasing the negative to minus four. Crap. Right. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> so as they as as the song reaches the bridge, right, that they're they're doing, yeah. I go ahead and let loose a mighty re. <laughs> <laughs> and so I it looks like that's a D twenty plus disconnect, right? Hello? Can you guys hear me? I guess. I do. I'm waiting. Yeah, for I do. Okay, so let me uh, let me roll that here real quick. Uh, <sighs> Phone woes. Yeah, First word problems. Uh, two plus five is seven. I'm gonna use a, a euphoria point and re-roll that. All right. Make that disconnect work for me, bitch. Yeah, not twenty plus five. <laughs> Twenty-five. Twenty-five. <laughs> All right. What does re do again? You hey, come on, guys. This is okay. Cold. I'll read it. I'll read it. You just can't take it anymore. You tilt your head back and let loose with a mighty screech. Uh, roll a d20 to set the difficulty. The suitor must succeed on a d20 plus disconnect mod against that difficulty. If his roll meter exceeds it. He proceeds as normal. If he fails, uh, the suitor's concentration is broken by your fearsome battle cry, and the round is concluded without any GB gained or lost. So he, he basically <laughs> loses his chance to interact with her this round. Yeah, that's it. So as you go and offer your arm, douchebeard, to your milady, you <laughs> see out of the corner of your eye that... There's two idiots with a guitar singing the world's most awful song, and then right between them is a Nackernox. His head. Wait, 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 guy. wait! You want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> 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 your concentration is broken, and you forget to hold your lady's arm as you walk her into the restaurant. 
<laughs> round four. You guys are inside the restaurant, standing in line, preparing to order. Orbiters, you have followed them inside, obviously, you know. <laughs> You're still playing fucking music on your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an unholy serenade. <clears throat> well, well, yeah. so, while they stand in line, I'm going to do the drive-by. Oh, you're going to do the drive-by. Them, <laughs> walk past okay. them, rip. Uh, drop dusting incoming. <laughs> roll, your, roll your odor, bro. That was a four. Oh so I'm going to spit a euphoria. <laughs> re-roll that. <laughs> and I re-rolled that into a two. So... <laughs> <laughs> with my <laughs> with my odor modifier of five, that's a nine. Okay, why don't you read crop dusting to Douchebeard? He's getting a little too friendly with Milady. It's a good thing that your flatulence can fumigate an entire dungeon. Roll point <laughs> <laughs> and add your odor modifier to set the difficulty, which is nine. The suitor then rolls a d20 plus odor modifier against the set difficulty. If he meets or exceeds the difficulty, his pheromones overpower your flatulence and nothing happens. But if he fails, Milady reaches in disgust and flees from the vicinity, ending the round. Crap. Okay, here it goes. Beat a nine with a minus Eight, three. It minus, minus four. Three. Minus oh yeah, four, minus three. Seven. It's minus four, three. Oh, oh God. As hard as I walk first. That was wet. Oh, <laughs> but I gotta, tea, wasn't it? But I got it. I got I think you might have left a little bit in the end there, but <laughs> <laughs> that one came with a prize. What was your odor roll? <laughs> uh, my odor roll was eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> wow. wow. There you go. Uh, Night Wolf, you go right, walk right past him, letting out the juiciest, wettest <laughs> fart you can, trying to fumigate and thereby hinder the advances of the masterful Chad known as Douchebeard. He, however, <laughs> is sweating too profusely for the stench of your rotting bowels to scare <laughs> off Milady. Romans <laughs> wrap her in a comforting swaddle. <laughs> now, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What would you yep. like? To, you're in line with your lady. You're on round four of the date, and you get up to the counter. What do you do? What's your action for this turn? Uh, I ask them for the best uh, sitting in the house. The best what? Sits. So... The best sit? Oh, dude, this is a fast food place. It's not fancy like that. You know, uh... you just fucking order and sit wherever. <laughs> no, that's, oh, he's that's officially to disconnected. I'm, 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 I, just, I'm just trying to impress her. By yeah, the best I object. Place. Oh, you're trying to impress her yes. by asking for the best seats in the house. All right, <laughs> yeah. roll, your, roll your disconnect. Roll, roll me a D20, bro. <laughs> Seven. And my disconnect modifier is plus two. <laughs> oh, nine. <laughs> uh, you walk up to the confused Mick shit fucking uh, McDonald's cashier guy and say, Excuse me, sir. The best seats in the house. <laughs> and he shakes his head and says, This is a McDonald's. <laughs> uh, anywhere is good, I guess. <laughs> Malady alternatively shakes her. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, then I just order a Caesar salad with uh, fried chicken on top because fried is always good with a salad okay. or something. And you <laughs> place your orders and you guys, yeah. round five, you return to this table with your food. Yeah, and, and I hold out her chair for her. Oh, you do the chair hold again? 
No. Nope. Nope. Really no. 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 The, the other time it was the door. No, it's the share. Okay. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give him the. Uh, if there's a way for me to give him an assist action, so he pulls the chair out way too far and she falls on her ass. That's what I want to do. <laughs> well, that's kind of an interference still. It, it is an interference, right? That would be an interference. Okay. Uh, start cheering him on with your with your disconnect, you know? All right. All right. That's all right. Magic. All right. Cheer him on. Set the difficulty. Roll a d20. Add your disconnect mod to set the difficulty. And then let's Got see it. if he's too gung-ho about pulling out that chair or not. Yes. Okay. D20. Uh, it's a nine. And then I'm going to roll my girth then. Uh. Oh, fuck. I'm using my <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, we are going to be non-euphoric by the end of this. I spent uh, all my euphoria thin. trying to woo that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nineteen. I, I, I got a nineteen altogether with my mods. All right. Does that is that that's in excess of uh, the set difficulty, correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I set it at nine. Okay. You pull oh. out the chair gracefully, despite some weird compulsion to tug it away at the last minute and let Milady collapse onto her ass. Now roll me a d20 against Milady's bitchiness index, and let's see how she takes it. Ooh. You know, you fuckers could stop singing and actually do something to help this fail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was, I'm, I'm happy to singing. <laughs> I mean, it is hoping, right? Do we need to buff this mythical item? Make it a minus 10? Make everything <laughs> <laughs> I might have to buff it, yeah. It's a um, fucking what? relic, yo. It's a relic of your... So, we have um, six interferences. Is that per date or across all dates? It's across all dates. Okay. Oh. Uh. And yeah, well, I guess I gotta on step me. up and <laughs> use one of mine about now. Um, so as they're sitting down to eat, I fill yeah. up a nice a big glass of Coca-Cola, and I walk by their table, and oh, oh, I'm so clumsy, and I spill it all over both of them. <laughs> 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 That's a disconnect move, I feel like. So why don't you roll me a 20 and set your disconnect? <clears throat> A six. <laughs> Hide, roll me a 20. We suck at this shit. <laughs> uh, he's too suave. Uh, I in. <laughs> what is it? 19. This is all right. 19. Yeah, you're fine, bro. You're God. fine. You see this clumsy asshole with a big jug of fucking cup of Coke come walking up to spill it all over you, but he falls prematurely and Falls prematurely and yeah, I'm pretty used to premature. <laughs> <laughs> it was a premature speculation. <laughs> Remy, you get off again. Oh, all right, all right. No, uh, roll me your sure. twenty for your pulling out the chair from a lady to sit down and be comfortable. Uh, didn't I do it before? He did. He already what did, did he that. before? It was an, uh, an 18. Oh, okay. Well, you go yeah. to pull out the seat for my lady, you know, with uh, the dapperest subliminal tipping of your hat. And she is absolutely flattered, enthralled, and glad that you're starting to act a little bit like a gentleman. You gain two good boy points. Yay! That concludes good round point. five. Round six, you finish up your meal. You're sitting there after the food. It's the end of the date. What do you do to win her heart? I declare my love for her. You profess your love. All right, let me oh, hear you. Oh, no. your love, bro. Let me hear you profess your love. Oh, it has to be one, one minute. 
It's yeah, a one, no. one minute. Hang on. Okay. Wait for, wait Ever for since I saw you in math class. Wait I, for the I minute to change and then profess your love, okay? I'll okay, tell you I, when to I go. Thought... Okay. Wait for it. You can brainstorm right now. Brainstorm all this stuff. Come time. up with all the brainstorm, good ideas. Bill. Don't let me interrupt or disrupt your thought process <laughs> in any way. <laughs> Just, you know, brainstorm and get all your best ideas to get. I know you got so many good ideas up there, dude. And I bet you could just get them all together, put, put all your shit in the backpack, and fucking... <laughs> You're the brainstormer, March, your boob. March the fuck out right now. <laughs> and she has nice boobs. Play for it. Play for it. It's Tell her you're going to lick her face. Yeah. Dude, Girl love that. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, profess your love. Go. Uh, you know, Becky, ever since you said I was so bad in PE class, I I have tried to change a lot to be the perfect man for you. Because ever since I first saw you, you have been the love of my life. You have been everything I think about, even when I'm washing or when I'm eating or when I'm training or when I'm playing with myself. Or <laughs> you're, you're, you're perfect in every way. And you can start going to the gym with me. I, I know this trainer that can get you into fit, into shape. You can be a perfect wife. If, if you just give it a shot, we can be so happy together. I think we we are perfect for each other, like like we're soulmates. I I can't I can't really put it into words, but I think you're the most perfect being on this planet, and I think you will love me a lot. Yeah, I, I'm quite sure of that. Perfect. He has a small <laughs> dick. <laughs> I will give you a plus one bonus for remarking that you jack off about her. <laughs> <laughs> so, roll me a d20 and tell me what you score on your professed love. Remember, Dayton's get fiddle is still 19, so 20. <laughs> what is it? 19, so 20. Since I got the plus oh, one. I'm, I'm going to speed at Euphoria to make him re-roll it. Oh, no, fuck no. you. <laughs> Dude, come on! <laughs> Reroll oh, it. Yeah, I'm going to. What was <laughs> Nine? Eight? eight? Would, you the like get to a, would you like to spend a euphoria to keep rolling? I don't have any more, and he knows that. <laughs> In this moment, I am truly euphoric. <laughs> <laughs> In the moment, I am euphoric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hide. Oh, oh, douche beard. She stands up, she shakes your head, and she's like, look, you're really sweet, and I really appreciate that you jack off about me when you're in the shower, but I just don't think we're meant to be together, douche beard. I'm, I'm sorry. Now, now, please take me home. <laughs> okay. Loser. And then I whine at her in the car all the way home. <laughs> you won it in the car all the way home. Can we, get a, can we get a little a little section of that whining? Oh, come on. I, I'm i going to lose the weight. I, I can be beautiful. And I have so many great interests that I know you will gonna, are going to like. You know, I, I'm actually a really good guy. If you just give me a chance. And yeah, that's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. A day or two passes when somebody's phone buzzes with an invitation to another date. Night Wolf. You receive a text from a lady waifu asking you if perhaps you might like to go on a date with her tonight. Yes. Now you... <laughs> Now, you being a broke neck beard, have opted to take her to the local park. <laughs> Admittedly, a place where you should not be because you've got a warrant there because some concerned parents were upset <laughs> about the incident. <laughs> but, you know, as long as the police don't come, you'll be okay. <laughs> anyway, so let's begin this date with round one. You approach my lady's house. 
Orbiters, I, you're present. I knock on the door. Playing that good old guitar, hoping <laughs> that it has some fucking effect this time. <laughs> Makes all the difference. Here it comes. Let's go. I knock on her oh. door. <laughs> yeah, you come up on her door. Round one. You doing anything special to win her heart? Uh, has she opened the door yet? Or not yet? I... No, you haven't even knocked. You haven't even gotten her outside, okay. bro. Okay. Well, I um dig around in my cargo flood shorts and um dig out the a fresh crispy tendy to offer her. <laughs> Is it fresh and crispy? <laughs> Ish. Oh, it could be stale. It's, it feels crispy. Ish. It's not the Very soggy good. one that I found. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, roll for me a d20. 17. Minus. It was a minus three. Yeah, it is because you're not helping yeah, me so anymore. No, it's I have a fourteen. To turn against you. So it's a fourteen. Mm, the math out on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Ram Tide's uh, disappeared. Oh fuck! I wasn't pushing the push to talk button. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well then, let's rewind. Milady Waifu opens the door and sees you, Nightwolf, kneeling on one knee, offering in your hand a chicken tendy for Milady Love. She shakes her head, smiles, says, I guess it's the thought that counts, puts it inside, and then leaves with you on the date. You gain two good boy points. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Hang on. What's your beard stat, actually? What's your beard stat? I didn't Four. have I didn't have a douche beard roll his beard because his beard was equal to his waifu, but yours might not be. What's your beard stat? Four. Four. All right. Never mind. You're good. Continuing. Round two. You're walking along with my lady love, and you can hear in the distance the obnoxious clanging of a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> the orbiters are near, but fortunately, the park is close too. Well, what do you do on this long and lonely walk with Milady to win her heart? I make her a breach for her hand with my greasy uh, mitt. You're gonna reach out to her hand with your slick, greasy mitt. It still okay. has tendy grease on it. Of course, it's got tendy grease on it. It's orbiters, you, you see him going for the handhold. Are you gonna do anything about that? I'm going to throw a rock at him. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Roll your grip and set the difficulty. Um, oh, 14. 14. Now it might actually do something. Roll, roll against the set difficulty, please. Night Wolf. Five. Plus my girth modifier <laughs> of negative three. <laughs> <laughs> you feel oh, a rock my. strike you against the side of the head and you yell out in pain. What do you yell? Fuck you guys. I'm trying to get <laughs> laid here. <laughs> <laughs> my lady hears you say. Yeah, no, my lady wants to. <laughs> She just shakes her head and scoffs at you for objectifying her like a piece of meat. And thus <laughs> concludes round two. Round three. Oh. You guys reach the park. How how do you entertain Milady? You brought her here with no plan or purpose or money. What are you gonna do to entertain her? Um, is there a duck pond with a bench or something nearby? Sure, there's a duck pond. Oh yeah, go near the. Duck I try. Pond. I will try to belly bump him into the duck pond. He's gonna belly bump him into the duck pond. Roll <laughs> the girth, bro. Set the difficulty. Uh, ten. Because of my girth modifier. 
<laughs> so what is that, like 15? Mm -hmm. uh, 10. 10. All me. right. Go Night away, Wolf. So. You see this big, fat tub of lard ass coming towards you and recognize him <laughs> as your former friend. He's ready to fucking belly bump you into the <laughs> duck pond. Roll against the difficulty. Four. <laughs> oh, God. And my girth modifier of negative three. Oh, dear. So, <laughs> net of one. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, let's see. Douchebeard collide if you full force, Nightwolf, driving you into the duck pond. <laughs> what else does the belly bump do? I know there's some effects listed in the rule book there. Uh, let's let see. A little bit. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, it's a difficult. It's a difficult to hit the girl. All right. If he meets or exceeds failure, does not fall. If he fails to meet or exceed the set difficulty, he falls to the ground. Milady is impressed by your hyper masculine display of dominance and awards you two good boy points, douchebeard. Yay! <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> you're a <laughs> I'm, I'm just floundering around, splashing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't swim. <laughs> hey, it's probably the first bath you've taken in months, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does he lose some of his musk because he's bathing? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it, this round, thing just evolves uh, into a pond scum smell. Yeah, he, oh. he now carries... <laughs> dude, that should be like a perk. Like Did a perk. ducks die? <laughs> <laughs> Round four, Night Wolf. You crawl out from the pond, stinking of pheromones and pond scum. <laughs> and Milady is visibly entertained, and she laughs as Douchebeard wanders away like the alpha male he is into the distance. What do you do to win her heart back? Oh god, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> is this um, soggy to my tendies as well? Your tendies are soggy, but you'll still eat them. Well, I'll pull out another tendy in my three different dipping sauces, and, um, well, I've prepared a banquet for my lady. <laughs> Would you like to partake? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> I love it. There's like an eight degree algae hanging on the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some duck poop in the dipping sauce. <laughs> um, roll me a d20, please. Oh. 14. 14. <laughs> Minus the three from the obnoxious song playing from the cross. <laughs> That's so the middle. And the lady just looks at you. And she's like, That's, that's fucking disgusting. Is that fucking like <laughs> duck poop on that chicken tender? <laughs> no, it's a. Uh, you lose. Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> you lose too good. No, it's a. Um, uh, uh, hummus? <laughs> <laughs> you lose two good no, boy see, points and get on around uh, five. No. I'd lose two good boy points. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but but it's lady good. is clearly displeased. She's honestly contemplating leaving at this point. What do you do Barbie to win her? Poo. <laughs> see, look, see, I try to prove that the tendy was still good and I ate it. <laughs> Roll your 20. 18. <laughs> 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 you take a bite out of this soggy chicken tendy covered in algae mixed with duck poo and fucking it's barbecue hummus. sauce. <laughs> She's like, sweetheart, you're trying too hard. It's okay. You don't have to eat duck poo to impress me. Well, you win two oh. good boy points. It's kind of hurting my heart. <laughs> 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 and then you get to round six and she turns and she says look it's been fun but i really just want to get home i I'm, I'm over it so i'm gonna i'm gonna go home can you can you take me home now as my what lady do you do to win or love in these final moments 
I respect her wishes and take her home because even though I do have some moderate disconnect, I realize that <laughs> I'm fucking tragic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to try to salvage it. I'm trying to salvage any self respect. No. <laughs> no? No profession, no nothing. All right, you take her home. I'm just, I'm too dispirited. <laughs> I'm just plotting vengeance against um, a certain girthy beard at this point. <laughs> All right, you take her home and you wish her a good night and you never hear from her again. Now, moving on, we have a tie here between Anachronox and Beltbeard for who goes on the next date. So, who has a higher beard stat? Uh, uh, my beard is at a seven. I have a six. Anachronox, you're up yes. for the next date. I have been waiting for this. <laughs> for oh, ever. All right, Anachronox. For your date, you have opted to take her to the movie theater. Orbiters, as always, you are present and in tow. <laughs> so I'm still, I'm still orbiting, even though I never hear from her again. I'm still. Oh yeah, present. dude. No, like you lost the game, but you're still gonna follow her around because you're a creepy, obsessed neckbeard. <laughs> I want to make sure they fail. <laughs> Duh, yeah, that's exactly about okay. it, dude. It's if not I can't about have romance. Her, no one point. can. It's about vengeance. Right. Isn't there like a Rena Beard thing? There is. Wait, how does that... Actually, I think somebody <laughs> did become a Rena Beard because they failed. That would be Douchebeard. Yeah, yeah Douchebeard became a Rena Beard. What was the mechanics on the Rena Beard again? You can interfere as many times as you want, and I think, but it's only at a flat plus three, so you don't get to add your bonuses. Right. Your own bonuses. Okay. So you hear that? Ew. You hear that, uh, you big old fucking douchebag? <laughs> <laughs> you could be a piece of shit all you want, bro. Great. Hey, give, give me one second, guys. I need to put a log on the fire. The sun went down and it's getting chilly. No worries, brother. Yeah, That's a freedom beat. Take Does it mean he can no longer fire again? <laughs> Does it mean he can no longer win my lady's heart? I thought she would go. What's going to give me another shot? When no, he can't win the lady's like, heart. No, but I'm still in the running. But I never hear from her again. So, how does Look that work? Guys, just give up now, okay? Uh, getting pretty close you, to you do not do not underestimate viability in the ways of love. I got four interrupts <laughs> left, and <laughs> they're all coming for you. They're all coming for me. Yeah, uh -huh. I have four left. Four left as well. <laughs> if I can't win, I'm going to make you fail. <laughs> You're all a bunch of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they a big fat sack of dicks. <laughs> At least you I have one. Multiple times, like right, or is it just one? Yeah. Per phase? No, you can you can interrupt. Um, you got six to spend. I think you can interrupt as many times as you want, as long as you only do six for the whole thing. Is that how I okay, understand it? Like Hyde was beating the the rules and stuff, so we kept mm -hmm. interrupting even after he right. beat it, like just to make mm -hmm. the round end. <laughs> <laughs> right. <sighs> Honestly, it's a it's, it's a pretty legit game. It's not. Yeah, this is actually really good. I I don't feel like I'm at my beardy best. Though. I really don't. I think I could probably. I don't know. I so definitely. Right. This is fine. Oh, well, yeah. It's starting to feel a bit too real. What's that? Yeah, just, well, just... This is what happens to me in real life. It's just... <laughs> well, I'm glad I could um, game Tato is a self-insert. <laughs> Tato, like, I made me. This is me. <laughs> Ramtide, why are you writing fan fiction about me? <laughs> <laughs> well, the number of bloody fat right? bodied me into a pond. <laughs> All right, boys. The 
fire is rekindled once more, literally All and right. figuratively, as the Anachronox takes Milady Waifu out on a date to the movie theater. Okay. Can I ask one mechanic question first? Certainly. Um, the tendy that I offered her, she kept that so I lose one tendy from my inventory. Yeah. Yeah, you used it up trying okay. uh, trying to win her love. Yep. Yeah, yeah. okay. You, you yeah. ate soggy one bird tendy. shit tendies. <laughs> trying, to, <laughs> trying to show it was still okay, bro. Ugh. I have one good gift. <laughs> yeah. That was that was something. That was impressive, guys. I'm proud of you. Uh, yeah. I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> I'm disappointed in everyone here too. Principally that because you allowed awesome. you allowed me to rope you into participating in this. <laughs> But so uh, why do I, I make my you? my beard buttered? So, uh, yeah. Well, I'm basically I expected contractually you. obligated. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the contract, bro. <laughs> so has oh. has uh, Fire Drake knocked on Milady's door yet, or can I interrupt? I I, I was anything starts. I oh Fire Drake so, is about to knock. <laughs> on as I drive my segue <laughs> up up to Milady's door. Oh, oh yes, that's that's that. Why is doing that? I'm going to pour some sugar into his gas tank. It's electrical, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's right, right. Hang on, hang on. What's happening? So the anachronox <laughs> is pumping up to Milady's door, right? <laughs> then he tries to pour sugar. <laughs> Juice <laughs> 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 beard is pouring sugar in an electrical vehicle. Right. <laughs> Why don't you roll your disconnect and see if you're smart enough to figure out where you're <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. No, it hurts. <laughs> Seven. Uh, Seven. <laughs> you start pouring the sugar into the charger plug in, <laughs> thinking, ah. Oh, God know. damn it. How am I gonna charge it? Here, get, get, go, go away, go away. This is my time to shine. Damn it! <laughs> you get up right. from a lady's door, and you're Stop. going to woo her. I'm going right off to pitch a rock through one of her windows. <laughs> <God. laughs> through one of her windows? <laughs> yeah, just Roll as he's about girth. to knock. Okay. Roll your girth. Girth. Yeah, I have average stats and everything, but I'm sure it's going to be a great roll. It's a two. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not going to do it. You see this rock, you throw it, and it lands like three feet away from you in the grass. <laughs> it doesn't even get real. Uh... <laughs> God, right, okay. I'm knocking on the door. Rack, rack, rack. You're knocking on the door. My lady comes to answer it. How are you going to woo her heart in these first critical moments? All right. So with with practiced ease, I'm going to roll the segue back just slightly, allowing me to lean forward in a smooth, florid bow as she opens the door. <laughs> Good morning, my lady. Are you ready for our journey into the battles of love? <laughs> how, far does, how far does he bow? Because that could affect the stability of his fedora. Yeah, that is... Ooh. 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 Oh, at, a perfect, not a, at a perfect 45 degree angle, my man. All right. Roll it. Roll it, Roll me Roll it or it didn't happen. A percentile? <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty low bow. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I lost my fucking twenty. Oh my god! <laughs> you for a you for a point. You for a point. No, no. <laughs> yes, you for a point. What happened? I'm curious. I rolled a two, a two on a D100. Oh, that's yeah. Eighty. That's better. Can I also get my euphoria? Can I get my euphoria? Atop your head. You're gonna use your euphoria? 
Yes, my last euphoria. <laughs> counter euphoria. Ah! Uh, does that? Can I counter smell that? No. Uh, can I use counter smell? No, I can't. Can I? It would specify if you can use it in this situation. No, fuck it. I'm going to use euphoria. <laughs> I'm gonna use no. I mean, it's in the spell Euphoria. It's a level ten spell. Okay. Oh. Uh, for a number of rounds equal to your disconnect modifier, you only receive half damage. Uh, any attack you do hit, uh, dating phase to reduce any GP loss round by half. I guess that's not gonna do anything. Yeah, not I don't for think this. that's gonna help you out there, bro. Damn it! All right. Okay. Here we go. One more time. Fucking a. Here we go. What do you 20. Got? Ooh. I'm going to use another euphoria point. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you How have many a do you have? I've got uh, this. I would have one left after this. Total of five for the entire thing. <laughs> He's not letting that hat fall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, 66. Yeah, His hat there. stays on. Hey, Batman. Unless some somebody else is feeling a little euphoric. I'm feeling somewhat euphoric. Yes, <laughs> I, I have five euphoria points. Let's Damn do it! This. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking renabat! <laughs> hey, uh, Batman. Um, like this is what happens when I stop at Party City. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So, uh, Go ahead. Take your, take your fedora oh, off oh, and yeah. lay it on the ground. And this can all be over. Oh, Do it. I bet yes, it can. I oh, my bet. God. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm calling it. I'm calling No, I'm going to profess my love right now. Profess oh, my love right now. With your yep. fedora right on the ground. Now. Right at the door. Yep. Hang Absolutely. Right. Guys, can all I, right. can I, can I interrupt first? Sure. <laughs> I walk up to the porch, drop my pants, and take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's an odor. Roll your odor to set the difficulty, please. No! <laughs> it destroyed! Six, plus my modifier of five. So, <laughs> so 11. 11. Anachronox, please roll against the set difficulty of this odor in front of you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, so it's 1d20, right? Yeah. <laughs> Two! <laughs> oh, yeah, literally. <laughs> All right, Anathomox. When you go to pro profess love, you will receive a penalty inflicted to it <laughs> equal to the odor mod of the pooper. Of the pooper. <laughs> Professing your love next to a giant pile of shit. The door. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Is Bill Bates still playing? Bowing <laughs> over <laughs> night. Okay. Wait. On her doorstep. Now just wait. Now just wait. Okay. One second. Where is it? Uh, all photos. Okay. Belt fed. Here we go. Song. Okay. So, I dee -dee 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 -dee. I step. That's stop it. I step in front of the pile of shit, <laughs> grabbing her by the hands and look deep into her eyes and say, "The lady." Hey God! Wait! 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 Wait for the minute uh -huh. to change. Go! Go! Profess your love. My lady, you must ignore these other plebeians, for I love you like no other. In fact. I have decided to dedicate my love to you in song. <laughs> no one licks like this beard. No one kicks like this beard in a shouting match. Nobody reads like... Oh, wait, oh, shit. No, that was for after the consummation. No, it's this, it's this one. Be my Ooh. slut. Be my slut. Let me put it in your butt. 
Wrap your legs around my neck, my dear. It's all like black sand. I'm the best, biggest nest. So much fearier than the rest. There's no crying and no whining. Well, the betas sit there pining. I do tricks and tell tales more than other alpha males. And they're all in perfect taste, as you might guess. We've got a lot of rooms to spread our juice and coom. So be my slide. Be my slide. Please be my all right, all right, all right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> no fear, he put me in earlier. I'm sad. I'm sad, lady. I, 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 I don't know how else to tell you. Uh, I, I have, a, I have a big dick. <laughs> that was that was magnificent, Anachronox. I'll tell you what, for such a magnificent declaration of your love to your precious lady, the negative bonus or the negative penalty that is being inflicted on you because of Nightwolf's poop <laughs> is now reduced to only minus one instead. Now roll. Yeah. Yes. Roll your profession of love. Fear my prowess. Okay. Uh, and that's a 1d20, yeah? Yep. Nine plus... Uh, nine, just a straight nine. I'm sorry. Milady Waifu shakes her head. Disappointment welling up in her eyes. And says... Add, add, also mine. But no, no, I, I say, bitch, I sang for you on your doorstep over a pile of shit. <laughs> uh, uh, Don't uh, you close that door. <laughs> this is getting too real. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm going to come back. And when I do, you're not going to appreciate it. Wait, did he just swim in? Right? Oh. Cool. <laughs> At this point, I have to go go up to it. I have to go up to him, put my hand around his shoulder, and says, "Come on, man, just let her go." But but I sang the but I sang the song and everything. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Come on, let's. <laughs> they they just reduce the We can play some League like, of Legends and focus on good things instead. Fully ugly crying snot running down my face. I segue <laughs> down the hill. The whole time you're going wah 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 wah. Exactly. <laughs> what a loser. God fucking yeah, it just stands to reason these other beta males couldn't compete. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, big man, you're going the fuck down. Well, it's a good thing that this date night ended in disaster for that beta male. <laughs> because I'll tell you what, you're up next. You go home that evening with your, uh, with your labors done. The relationship between Anachronox and Milady Waifu forever soiled or spoiled, as the case may be. When you get a text, and it's my lady wife, and she says, belt beard, I've been thinking. Hold on. Okay. It what? says belt beard. I've been thinking of belt beards like, yeah, right. Whatever. I want to see what's below his belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. You get a text from my lady waifu saying, Beltbeard, I've been thinking about you ever since that night you beat up Chad. Would you come take me on a date and prove to me once and for all that you are my husbando of my dreams? It is done, my waifu. I shall see you <laughs> on, at seven on the morrow. <laughs> Wonderful. The morrow comes. And you arrive at Milady Waifu's house once more. All the orbiters, you better believe it, are still orbiting. And you've decided tonight that you're going to take Milady Waifu out to the carnival that's in town. The local state fair. 
Anyway, oh, as you approach her door, you think of how you're going to win her heart in those first few precious moments of arriving at her house. Well, let's, uh, oh my. Can I, can I dip behind the house so nobody else sees me? You're going to go around somewhere? the back? Yeah. I'm nope, I'm somewhere. riding, I am literally riding his hip pocket. I am right behind him. So am I. <laughs> right behind him. You're no. not even hiding. You're just nope. standing right behind him. Right, awkwardly <laughs> close. I, I, tried, yeah. I tried to hide behind a lamppost and watch it, but yeah, I'm more visible than the lap lamppost. <laughs> that is hanging out inside. <laughs> yep. I, 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 well, you see, you see now, Beltbeard, here's the thing. Anachronox has dedicated to literally following you around right on your heels. Mm -hmm. I guess there is no escape. I ready my gift. And uh, Beltbeard goes up and rings that doorbell. Bing bong. Bing bong. The milady waifu opens the door to see you standing there with a gift. Why don't you roll a 20 to let me know how well the reception of this gift went off. It's a 10. Okay. And uh, let me ask you a question. What's your beard? Six? Yep. Roll me a D10 and tell me what you get. Mm -hmm. One. One. You present to her your gift as the door opens. And yet... Rather than initially humor you in goodwill, she takes one look at her knock and scoffs and says, Ugh, did you really invite him along on our fucking date? Whatever, at least Yeah, he it. sure did! <laughs> I'm gonna be watching everything you do tonight! <laughs> is, is, this the, what, is this the back door, not the front door? Uh, this is the no, front I, door. I went to the front. Is, is the, yeah. no, it's a, it's he opens the here. gift. What did you get her? What did you get her, Dayton? I shit gifted from you today? her a lovely bottle of Cleave body spray that I was going to use it myself, but all the other beers are watching, and I got uh, reduced Wait, my what? scent. What? <laughs> but he's got a can, right? He he's offering her a can. Yeah, he's offering yes. her some Cleave body spray. But you got? He's got a can of spray. <laughs> he's got a can of spray. Sorry. I, Look at my I, can I, of spray. I pop guys. out of the shadows. Uh, but actually, he hasn't used it to reduce his odor, so he's okay. I'm just saying, we need to watch it closely. Closer still. This is purely a game for my lady. He's just taking it. Thank <laughs> <Making laughs> you, man. Appreciates your hygiene, but doesn't care for your obnoxious friends that have shown up with you. You neither <laughs> gain nor lose good boy points. Am I am I still dripping with pond water and duck shit? <laughs> Did you ever wash off? Is the real question. Of course not. <laughs> and lose those body oils? No way. <laughs> there you have it then. You still stink like pond scum and duck shit. <laughs> All right, round two. You and my lady take leave. Did for she the take carnival. it, or do I still have it? She took it. Okay. She accepted your gift. Round two. Okay. You guys go and you leave <sighs> for the carnival. Uh, I'm, you know, you're walking to your car, you get inside, you drive off, interrupt me if at any point you want to perform an action or woo her. You're driving along at the carnival. Obviously, none of the orbiters are inside the car with you. Perfect. I stuck to him. I want to put my arm <laughs> around her and regale her with how much better I am than any of the other men available like, on the whole planet. Perfect. Divine flavor. <laughs> you guys are following in a car, and as you see his arm come up, you zap him with divine flavor. Your odor is increased to 10, Red X. As you raise your arm to it, why don't you roll me a 20 and add your odor modifier of 5 and tell me how that goes for you. I almost feel bad. Almost. <laughs> Sixteen plus five. Twenty-one.
Is that good? Or is that bad? I think it's bad. <laughs> well, it, it can't be good. <laughs> we can smell you from roll. Back. Uh, I kind of almost go well. Like from a like out of character, I almost want to see him succeed so we can actually watch. You know, see how the like the consummation works since nobody I would, else succeeded. I would let but... you guys all watch my cum consummation. <laughs> I get the binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. I got a GoPro. We're getting POV on that bitch. <laughs> I just want feet pics. The mic die again or are you reading something? Or... Honestly, yeah. Um, Except I'm a red a beard. I can't assist you. I would def. I would if I had done what I did. I would be assisting you right now. So I Talk have the power to assist. Where is oh, Ram Tide dipped out? Didn't he? Or like we can't hear him, huh? Dipped in honey mussy. Honey mussy. <laughs> Some money, <laughs> I sure like them French fried taters. All right. So, what are we thinking here? Because they want to see how the cum summation works, right? I kind, yeah, yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, but I have humor it if the dice dictate it. You know, and it's not looking good for your belt beard. You have like no good boy points. I know it's so, horrible. I can, so I can still assist, can't I? You can assist. But the question is, can you assist him enough to break the good boy points threshold he needs to woo his waifu? Can I, um, do I have his phone number? Can I send him a text message? I mean, I, I'm assuming you guys are all frenemies. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it's like, well, we all lost. Get it in, man. <laughs> I'm going to send him a text message saying that if he can consummate it, well, no, sorry. I'm going to help him consummate this, but I want feet pics out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you you get a message on your phone saying, "I'll help I you." Profit. I but profit. I profit in it. <laughs> it's a done deal, my friend. The feet pics shall be yours. Huzzah to this alliance! Right. <laughs> <laughs> this unholy brothers may never be broken. <laughs> Very good. Uh, an alliance has been forged in the heated union of feet picks and cooling. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. no! I'm still going to try to stop you because I can whine at her until she lets me in. I think that does work. Break down her barriers with whining. Yeah. You could, you could. Even if it takes years. <laughs> I don't have years. Years. I'm I'm trying to get it into diet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So an alliance has been forged. We're at round two of the date. You have arrived at the carnival. You have not decided yet on how you want to perform a way of wooing her belt beard. Funnel cake, funnel cake, funnel cake, funnel cake. <laughs> <laughs> you, get of, you get out of the <laughs> I do fucking love fucking cake IRL Did I So I'm gonna as as they're heading towards the funnel cake Oh yeah never mind mechanics wise I'm still a rent a beard Alright alright Never mind Damn it I was gonna help I mean, Tato and I are always allies in these games, you know. <laughs> Yesterday, he helped me boof. Today, he helps me uh, coom. Right? Right? <laughs> so, so he... <laughs> it sounds so, more, uh, like, more like his, your servant that helps you do your... <laughs> 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 he doing this shit. is an equal. He's alliance. a minion. He's a minion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I can't do it! I can't do it! 
<laughs> Come on, boys. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, God. It's so hey. close. It says, it says odor still 10. From the yeah. Room. Yeah, his odor is still Can 10. Can I um, attempt to overpower it with my own to make him look better to assist? You do have a max odor. I think if anybody could attempt it, it'd be you. Roll a D20, add your odor mod. Yeah. Take yeah, my pheromones, brother. Set the difficulty, bro. My pheromones are yours. I rolled a 19 plus a 5 modifier, 24. Very good, Dayton. If you can beat a 24, then you're not affected by his pheromones. If you fail to beat it, well, then he's going to age you in your stink. Oh, I'll never beat that. Probably not. It's a 9. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <clears throat> Nightwolf, you lend the power of your pheromones to Beltbeard to help him woo his milady while he stands in the funnel cake line. You awkwardly hover behind him, wafting a breeze from beneath your armpits in his general direction. Thank you, brother. So, <laughs> so performing that gets me a good boy point, doesn't it? You do get a good boy point. Yes. That is the goodest boy. All right, what do you do to woo Milady, bro? You need to win some good boy points to, to conclude this date. You're in the funnel, funnel cake line. Funnel cake is the you know, uh, greedy bitch. Uh, it, right, you know what? No. I, I, think, <laughs> I think I would like to... Uh, I would like to do something to help in this alliance. So I, I really am. I'm going... Before they make it to the funnel cake line... I'm going to go up there and give the extra $2 for the extra uh, whipped cream and strawberries on the top of the funnel cakes when they order them. Not the whole thing, just the strawberry and whipped cream. Damn, Could okay. the whole thing, though? <laughs> <laughs> Belt beard. Roll me a D20 and tell me your result. It is another nine. Okay, and then roll me a D10 and tell me your result. Um, six. All right, you go up to the funnel cake line and you offer Milady a funnel cake. And first, she scoffs at you, saying, "Ah, I don't fucking like funnel cake." And then your beardy reflexes kicks in because you've been so rejected. And you reply in a level way too beardy for her to actually be okay with that she should be grateful for your gift. So why don't you tell her <laughs> oh. you should be grateful for my fucking bottle cake. Say it. <laughs> Listen here, you ungrateful bitch. You know how long I spent standing in a fucking Walmart parking lot going to round it up cart so I could go and take you on a nice goddamn date? And the least you, you can do is say, oh, and thank you, Belt Beard. Oh, I know you, you bought this just for me in an effort to impress me. And for some reason, it's just never good enough for you, is it? Why is it never good enough? Did your daddy not hug you enough when you were little? Is that what this is? Look at you. Like you're even that skinny that you don't eat funnel cake. Look at those thighs. <laughs> I know you eat funnel cake. <laughs> now eat some goddamn funnel cake. Scathing <laughs> 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 indictment at the funnel cake line has been. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. You lose two good boy points. <laughs> I hope I hope Wifey was listening to that, Red. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, man. You basically Woo. told that bitch to eat her fucking funnel cake. <laughs> with, with a distinct prejudice. Wow. <laughs> and now uh, she solidly eats her funnel cake. Refusing to say a word to you. That's what do you do right. to continue you winning your heart? Oh, sorry. Uh, winning heart. Yeah, I'm good at that. Um, <laughs> I sit I, I sit down next to her, and I put my fingers together, 
And I look down at my shoes and I say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry I exploded like that, but I have a very, uh, his, I have a very disturbing family history that is rife with abuse, and that is the reason that I acted that way. So um, I'm hoping that you can find it in your heart to forgive me. All right, roll a 20. It's a 10. All right, and roll me on your uh, neck beard, your beard stat. It's a six, right? Just roll me a D6. D6. Four. Okay. My lady wife who turns to you and says, ah, I don't know. Like, that was really uncool. Like, I don't like funnel cake. And you just told me to fucking put it in my mouth like a dumb fucking fat slut. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I guess the temptation. I know, right? You a little bit, <laughs> but I don't know. You got a lot of work to do, Mister. You, 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 you ain't gonna bully your way into my fucking pants. Look, you. Need I'm I'm perfectly willing to do the work. I just hope that you'll do the work with me, please. So you can't you find it in your heart. Oh, for your <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Bellbeard's good at this. It's like he reads next and, uh, every day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I kind of feel like I should be like singing uh, uh, "Kiss the Girl" a cappella. La 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 la! Oh yeah, my. Ram? Ramtide? Where'd you go, Ramtide? It's almost <laughs> over. <laughs> I need to either consummate or go down in glorious flames, but not with not with my self dignity, you see. That's how we do this. Right. right. So you neither gain nor lose good boy points as a result of your interaction that round. You're still at how many good boy points are you at? Negative two. <laughs> <laughs> Round four on your date. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so you, you, you just tried to bribe her with butt funnel cake and then complain to her about how abused you were. And she has shut you down on both. Are you, what are, what are you going to do to win her over, bro? Come on, man. She's waiting. I can't believe the abuse line is all right, so what I'm going to do is enlist uh, the help of, of my good semi-frenemy, <laughs> an Acronox and uh, Nightwolf. <laughs> I'm going to text them and I'm going to say, you guys, I'm, I'm really bombing out here. You lost your chance. Please help me. <laughs> I want a, a picnic spread with fireworks and it's, it's going to be great. Right, right as the as the date is coming to a climax, you know, and and then maybe I could come to a climax after. I run up and give him a high five. So, Beard, I, I mean, my mom only lets me play with puppets. So, as far as fireworks go, that's that's all I got. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I think between the two of us, we can come up with something. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm really counting on you guys, okay? Please. <laughs> she hates me. I, I yelled at her because of, uh, you know, she wouldn't eat the funnel cake I spent my money on, and I made up a fake abuse story to try and get her to forgive me, and that didn't seem to work. And This is kind of sound... my last shot. Well, she like I mean, she should have been fucking grateful. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, she, she is a bit. Funnel cake, come on. <laughs> bitch, wait, better eat it. Wait, no, uh, wait. Think of the feet. <laughs> God. Okay, so what can we? How do we? How do we? How will we work that though? Can like, I? Uh, can I spend my remaining good boy points to buy a picnic basket or some fireworks? Sure. I've got I no. 
I've got no good boy points left, but I uh, let me see if there's any spells that I can leverage his ability with. I'm sure Euphoria looks magical when that's cast. It, yeah, it, it, it's 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 more of a like I would think that like maybe we should you know afterwards <clears throat> we should consider some mechanics for Euphoria uh, during the dating phase. Um, yeah, that's no, cast on others, dude. but that's that's half the reason why we're here is to. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, but let's on. let's see what we got. I, I'm I'm gonna get you red. I just gotta figure out what we can use here. Um, let's see. Glyph of hoarding. Yeah, uh, Ramtide. Is there a fried food stand nearby? Oh, dude. Okay. Carnival. It's everywhere, bro. Okay, I go and buy the biggest. Um, what do tinnies come in? Like a bucket. The biggest bucket of attendees I can afford on oh, my five foot attendees. Okay. <laughs> All right. I believe there's only five attendees, but uh, I know they're, they're two good boy points, aren't they? You know, let's just say you, you're, you're getting a bucket of attendees. Yep. And how many good boy points do you have? I have five, but I'm spinning them all. Well, then we'll say you just have a big bucket of attendees. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to ready, like, I'm going to watch and ready Blame Strike uh, for uh, if, just basically as a ready action, in case Bellbeard fails to seal the deal. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, there it is. Round four. <laughs> Beltbeard, you have recruited the help of your fellow beards, hoping <clears throat> for tendies and fireworks to woo a lady. When you find a quiet little picnic spread tucked away in the carnival, set up by your boys in hopes that it'll help you. You seat my lady down to woo her with this fine display of affection. Roll a 20 and roll a six. Oh, please. We gotta do this thing. <laughs> oh, God. I'm using a U4 to roll again. It's a six. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Come on, do it! 13, I guess. I'm not rolling too good at the end here. A 13 and a 3. My lady sees the spread lovingly set out before her. The bucket of tendies. The fireworks crackling in the distance. And for the <laughs> first time in the date, she says, Oh, Bellbeard. I'm surprised. I didn't think it could be so romantic. Usually you just call me a dumb slut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that's because of my abusive past, but I really do want to make it up to you. Uh, if you could you just sit game. down and enjoy a meal with me, I would be eternally grateful. <laughs> You've gained two good boy points for the interaction. Nice. And right. we are now on to turn five. You and Milady enjoy their meal. You're sitting there beneath the fireworks on the blanket. The tendies are gone. What do you do to seal the deal? Can I attempt to assist and boost his pheromones? Again? Sure. You're going to boost his pheromones? Yeah. Cool. I have two more assists and no, one more assist left, so I'm going to use it. Assist him. <laughs> assist his pheromones with yours. <laughs> 12 plus 5 modifier. So 17. Right, 17. I'm rolling pretty shit, so let's see. I, I lurk in the bushes behind and raise my arms to the heavens. <laughs> Let those fear a moment. But I have two euphoria, so I'm gonna re-roll. Now it's a seven. And I have one euphoria left. Let's make it count, boys. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's yep. up? Alright, sa save your euphoria for now. I'm I'm thinking of a rework of assistance mechanics in my head after this game test. So let's just say for now that he gives you his modifier. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you get a plus five modifier to your roll. I'm thinking that'll be the rework for uh for assistance mechanics. You can uh, okay. You know, to use there. The situation you lend right. them your modifier instead. Oh, dope. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, as I'm doing I, I so, think that that I, might be the way to do it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I need to think about it. I need to revisit it and look at the rule book again. But for now, we'll just run with that. He's lending you his odor. You get plus five on any rolls with odor. And as I lean to my uh, odor, I tip my fedora in his direction. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh and I, 
And I as well. well. Absolutely. <laughs> the hats tip all around the blanket. <laughs> From the woods where nobody can see. <laughs> yeah. Except for myself. So you can smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I have one last tendy in my pocket that I bought before uh, the dating phase started. So you, you, you I'm going to pull out my, my secret tendy. And I'm going to tell her. My lady, this tendy is, uh, it's very important to me and my family, and, uh, I just saw <laughs> how much you enjoyed the tendies that were provided here, uh, by me for both of us, and I, I would like to continue providing, so, uh, if you would take half of this tendy, I would be most honored. <laughs> then I, uh, I kind of lift my armpits a little, a little more chicken winging to try and uh, infuse my scent with the tendies so she relates it with, like, good good times and good smells, <laughs> like a true alpha male would do. Oh, no. Oh, God. I guess we'll see if it God works. Beat. Uh, oh no four roll it again 14 i guess okay. <laughs> does it um receive my does my assist still carry on yeah he's he's getting the bonus to it so oh yeah five. yeah okay so 19 he's using his odor all right well, that's pretty good it's the same it's the same round so yeah 19 okay and what'd you get on the d6 roll Duh, i did roll it yeah bob roll it right now yeah it's five <laughs> five you pro you profess your undying love over this tendy that you've broken in half oh. offering her the other end and she's flattered she's dumbstruck and the action is just the right amount of beardy to win her heart Oh man! You win six uh, good boy points. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, the, there's a uh, so she takes the other half of the ten and she says, "I cherish it forever if I don't eat it first. <laughs> <laughs> She's a keeper. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> now with the ten D successfully broken. And the date coming to a close, you have one round left by which to win her. She seizes the tendy in her hands and eats it, leaving you there alone on the mattress or the, the fucking uh, the blanket. How do you win her heart in these final moments? Because this is your final round to win some good boy points. It is time for my profession. <laughs> you get a love. All right, here we go. All or nothing. Because I'll tell you right now, you did not have enough good boy points at the end of that date to actually just win her heart and be done with it. So it is, it is right now, professing love or nothing. Oof. I'm brain you got this, up. dude. You I'm got this. It up. When the minute changes, profess your love, okay? I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him my disconnect. I'm gonna give him my disconnect bonus. You've got. You've got boys aiding you. Even I have no more than that, but I'm Open cheering him on. Pack. <laughs> Truly, he is our alpha on this momentous night. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If I can get it in. Coming. With the get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Yes. Get it in. Get it in. Pixar it didn't happen. Pixar it didn't happen. What? My lady. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I think I knew you for many lifetimes ago. I was born <laughs> into this world and I was searching, but I knew not what for. Lo, all this time it was for you, and I don't think I really realized that until the moment that you accepted that tendy from me, 
there on the blanket, underneath the beautiful stars and the fireworks, none of which can compare to your eyes and your shining hair. Oh, so lovely you are. And that was just but a small symbol of how I might provide for you, my lady. I understand that I have uh, some idiosyncrasies that we need to work through, but I am here with you today to try and work through them, and I am only hoping that you will repay my my gestures in kind. I I could go on for many days about how how much I want this and how much you need this. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, I I don't know uh, if there's anybody else, but if there is, then uh, I I would fight to the death for you. You know, it's it's just ridiculous that it's taken me this long to really lay my feelings out for you. But again, I'm going to bring up my semi-realistic abusive past and uh, <laughs> let you know that, that that's probably why I have so many problems. But you can <laughs> fix me. Oh, Amen. my God. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure that's a minute. That was dope. I yeah, I was looking for single, two minutes. I shared a single tear of just pride and <laughs> you know. You're the YouTuber. I would. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna go with your estimation of time. So. Yeah, it, I was aiming for two minutes. Yeah. Like the, that's about yeah. how long I do the intro for. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That was. Sweet. Yes. I howled in pride and came. Yes. <laughs> Can I? Wow. Uh, what, did I <laughs> what did you get on your uh, your professed love roll there, Belt Beard? What is that? Twenty. Yeah, roll a d twenty for me. And is he gonna get? Plus... Go ahead. Sorry. Roll a d twenty for me. Add plus five because you have your friends offering okay. their aid to help you. Well. It's a four, but I'm going to spend my last euphoria. Oh, up a bit. Can I give him my last euphoria point? If you can use it to make him re-roll, if if you think yeah, you okay. Need it. I'm at All sixteen right. now, so it's a twenty-one. Are yes. you going to stick with twenty-one for your professed love index? I think I will. Milady tears up a little bit and says. Oh, belt beard! <laughs> Grabs you by the hand, drags you back to the car, and prepares to comb summate the union. <laughs> yes! Uh, Yay! Right. Oh, yes! <laughs> we want pictures! Take pictures. Take pictures. I'll make Be sure pics. Peter up on the dashboard. Just be ready. And and money shot. Death. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hey, I was the only one who made gold. a deal for pictures. <laughs> <laughs> when she least expect uh, it, stick a finger in her button. <laughs> <laughs> Photograph the uh, moment of penetration. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're all going to hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so excited! What? How, I gotta read how this works. I didn't think. I, I know. I was looking at the the rules for Coom summation. I don't even know I what leg it... she is. Is she a leg oh, beard? Dear. Is she a beard base? Well, see, yeah. Well, that's kind of the thing is we don't know. Like, I guess yeah. that's considered meta gaming. So. Yeah. Yeah. Her name is is. Stacy. Stacy. Ooh. Oh, Becca. Oh, she. Uh... The very beginning. Okay. All right. It could be beard bait named Stacy. I don't know. Ram Tide. Ram Tide. Help me cum some mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just give a little push. Just a push. Man. <laughs> uh... All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. 
All right, she leads you back to the vehicle, stripping off her clothes right at the entrance, even there in the middle of the whole fucking carnival parking lot. Her secret coup oh. has been set. Why don't you see if you can pleasure her? Would you like to roleplay this encounter? <laughs> oh, no, please. No, please. Because <laughs> it's on the table. Oh, Roleplaying no. the encounter is highly encouraged. Oh, yeah, oh no! I'm oh, role play. Come on, guys. This is what you wanted, isn't it? This is why we came here, right? I'm You're sorry, a... dude. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> right. Oh, the lady Jesus. has set her secret cum index. She furiously strips off her clothes and leans back in the seat of your shitty vehicle. What do you do to please her? Describe in detail. <laughs> oh, my lord. You are. You are. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you do seem, uh quite eager for this to happen uh, i'm pretty eager myself uh, <laughs> just, i want to kiss you but don't touch it too much or it might be okay My wife is asleep. She's not going to get jealous that I'm role playing with Ram Time, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm, yeah. I'm sure that it's, <laughs> it's like, who are you doing that? Ram Time. Oh. <laughs> You're just having a good old time. Oh. Can you hear me? Yeah. We can hear you. All right. We got Roll you. Your 20 and see uh -oh. how much your kissing pleases her. But don't coom too soon. For that mm. Ooh. So one. Oh. oh no! You <laughs> fought a point. You fought a point. I'll give him my last year. I'm gonna spend my you fought a point. Yep. All right. I do. So one of the beards staring in from around the vehicle, just looking through the glass <laughs> awkwardly. Ben's <laughs> as euphoria <laughs> to make you re-roll. <laughs> re-roll it. Oh. 18. You fucking owe me. Giggles and giggles. It says, "Oh, that's okay. I won't make you coom too fast." <laughs> and you successfully pass the turn. You reach to yeah. round two. Hey. You get to round two of the coom summation. You have made out with Milady and have just narrowly avoided ejaculating everywhere simply from getting touched. How do you continue to please her? Uh, about now is the time where I. Try and uh, slip a hand up the shirt, you know, and uh, get a few of boob. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a 20. <laughs> oh, He's like, please, all right, Jesus. Bless you like this the day. Seven. You like the neckbeard Matt Mercer, man. <laughs> <laughs> As your hey. fingertips brush against her nipples. You can't oh help but fill your load inside your own pants. Oh! You oh, have failed no. the nation. And Milady uh. looks down at the wet spots in your jeans, shaking her head and clicking her tongue, before she says, Take me the fuck home and don't ever call me again. Oh. <sighs> I, Congratulations. I, oh. Nobody won. I seen him in text. I'll show you what that mouth do. All day long. I go up I go up to Beltbeard and like, uh okay, so like you owe me two dollars and fifty cents for the strawberries and ice cream and whipped cream, cause uh yeah, you you did you didn't get there, dude. Sorry. I'll tell you what, and, uh, instead of giving you the money, I could let you smell my hand. It smells like boob. Oh, Deal. Da 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 da. Who wants you to owe fucking me touch me? <laughs> <laughs> you owe me as well. Well, the well, Right? Hey, 
that you know what for an initial playthrough that was really good man i it's it's got a lot of merit i like it 